start? Uh, it's obviously been too long since we've done this. Three weeks is too long. You forget everything. Oh, you guys, I wish you could have seen that because I'm a moron, but it's okay. don't really have I'm to sure wait. I know that. <laughs> nope, we don't believe it. We have to see it fresh every time because <laughs> we can't remember from the last time that you're an idiot. Well, they don't want you to be faking that you're a moron. You know, right. They want, they want, they want to know proof. that it comes natural. Yep, yep, yep. It's very authentic. <laughs> So we're sitting here getting all ready, you know, and the, the light's kind of weird because it's cloudy. So I've got these, what do you call those lights? They're like, they're not clear. Oh gosh, I shouldn't have stared at them. Oh, I um, know. I just sit too. Oh, goody. Wow, well, we're seeing we're stars. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, seriously. Um, anyway. Don't look at them. Just No, they're, uh, but they're not. I did it again. I know. <laughs> Oh goodness! The lights uh, are not like clear lights. They're right. like a kind of a. I, stop I know. Looking, Quit at looking, looking at the lights. <laughs> They're like a golden glow. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. it's giving us a weird look. Yes, we look slightly tan, slightly red. Yeah, I would, if it was making me tan and healthy, I'd totally go for it. <laughs> I'd carry one over my head all the time. I just put one on a stick and walk. Yeah, this around. is better than looking like you know sickly and. You know, Pale, like I Pale. usual. Yeah. So yeah. if we have any color, it's good. Yeah, it's good. We'll go with yeah. it. Okay. Go with All right. Color. Light it is every time. <laughs> Sometimes more. We just have yeah. to learn not to stare into the light. I know. Don't stare into the light. And walk away from the light. Uh, yeah. Don't go toward the don't light. Go towards the light. Remember Poltergeist? Was it? Remember? Mm -hmm. Stay. What's that? It doesn't matter. But it's. I haven't seen Poltergeist in like you know eons. Oh, it's been a long so, time. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't watch that stuff regularly. Right? Well, I used to. You do used to? Well, Poltergeist was a good movie yeah, back yeah, in the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. The clown under the bed. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Clown. Well, we don't need to talk about clowns. We don't like clowns. We don't. <laughs> don't Hillary's saying hi. She don't like clowns either. <laughs> they were all out there right before we started recording. And I was thinking, oh, good. You guys are going to get to see the chickens. But now they've. Oh, they'll be around. I'm sure. Yeah. They'll walk in the back. I yeah. mean, not like. Some folks have mentioned that they'd like to see the chickens. Yeah. It's not like I think that's right. certainly no reason to watch us. Right. <laughs> the There's chickens. better ways to see chickens. <laughs> if that's so what you're here lots for. Of videos on chickens. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we can hook you up even. We'll put some links in the show notes wow. so you can just watch chickens. Oh my gosh, yes. Anyway. Yeah. So welcome to the Naughty Networks. I'm Michelle. And I'm Leslie. Thanks for joining us. Yep. All right, <laughs> on the show <laughs> to what we're doing. We have no special drinks today, unfortunately. Michelle I, and I are both drinking water. Yeah, we're both. Your your so, bottle's very huge. I know. Do you know how many of these I've been drinking a day? Three. Okay, I'm oh, underachieving. I know. Two, like two and a half. Oh, that's a lot. But I feel like it's a ton. It is a ton. How but many it's many ounces really are thirsty. There? Each each of these is sixty four ounces. Wow. I mean, that thing's freaking huge. I know. But it's like I really. Where'd you get it? I like it. On Amazon, of course. Oh, okay. Yes. It's really big. Yes. <laughs> Can't say, say it enough. <laughs> it's really big. That's what she <laughs> said. Compared to our heads, yeah. That's uh, really big. Well, I mean, look at my bottle. Yeah. It's like yours looks so small. I know. <laughs> I don't even know how many ounces it is now. It might say on the bottom. 16? No, um, it's more than 30. 30. Probably 32. Maybe 24. I don't know. Okay, 24 ounces, yes. Okay. 24 so, ounces. Oh my God, and that's how many? 64. I know. So that is a lot. I know. <laughs> it's huge. Wow. But it's nice because it tells you the time, like what you're supposed oh. to, how much you're supposed to drink. I have to get one yes, of those. Yes, I love it. Although I like my water bottle here because yes. I've got it all decked out with my stickers. You could deck out this one you too. Know, you could deck Jim it out. Jim Jones was a show. <laughs> Just read it. I can't talk. She has water in there. We promise. <laughs> Remember, vodka doesn't smell. <laughs> it's <not> traceable. <laughs> anyway. All right. So anyway, yeah. Yeah, so we might have to take pee breaks. Yes. Oh my gosh, I had to go so bad when I got to Michelle's house. I was like, it's painful. She I she go. understands now what I felt like every time I got to her house or get to so her house bad. when I go down there. Yeah. yeah. I usually can't make Sometimes I can make it without making a, a pit stop, yeah. but yeah. not drinking two of them. No, I know. Oh and God. so far I've only drank, I mean, that's as much as I've drank today so far, but... If I was at home, I'd probably be drinking a lot more because I just so get thirsty. So maybe you should throw out some of those little, uh, you know, the little things on the side. Good morning. Oh, yes. Hydrate yourself. Hydrate yourself. Remember your goal. Keep chugging. Feeling awesome. Keep chugging. We Don't give up. Almost finished. You did it. 
So yeah. So right now I should be feeling awesome. You know. Are you? Although it's not almost three o'clock. It's before three o'clock. So yeah. I'm supposed to feel oh, awesome at three o'clock. And what time are you supposed to start drinking? Uh, I mean, you're supposed to have, you know. Oh, seven. Seven a.m. Start drinking. Okay. Which this morning I didn't get up till eight, so I yeah. drank quite a bit in a short amount. I think you just have so. to make do because by seven usually we've been up for a while. I know. Well, yeah, during the work, yeah. usually I'm up at five with Bob, so yeah, we start earlier. But yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. Oh, we've anyway. fully covered our yes, water bottles. Fully, yes, we are getting, hydrated. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing good. So, what have you been working on? What have you finished? Any finished objects? Well, there's the whole drama with my poncho. Oh, remember yes, the one the, the neck. The neck. It was yes. just. Uh, so, what'd you do with that? Well, neck? I did first. I picked up stitches okay. down here. You can see. See that like whitish color? Yeah. So there is where I picked up stitches. Then mm -hmm. I did a couple of rounds with the that greenish teal color that I used down here. Okay. Then I added in this blue color and did an I cord bind off. Nice. So then I. Oh, oh boy. Uh, then I I need new glasses because every time they fall, they yeah. fall on their. On the on the glasses part. Thank you. The screen. I'm like, yeah. On the screen. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so I did that. Well, then it was like, okay, that looks nice, but it's still super big. Really? It didn't okay. pull it in any. Okay. So I put it. I went around and picked up stitches around the I cord bind off, mm -hmm. which was you know super easy. Yeah. That's certainly nice, a good thing yeah. about. And then I just knit some with. I remembered I had another skein of the Sand and Sea oh, by good. Barnyard Knits, so I did that. And then decreased. Okay. Um, well, for one thing, when I picked up around the the I cord by enough, I didn't pick up like every stitch. I okay. did like two, I think for every three, I picked up one. No, opposite of that. For every one, I picked up three. <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense. I'd pick up three stitches and then skip one. Okay. Okay. There's okay. my ratio. <laughs> okay. So every four stitches, you picked up three. Sure. Right? That, you could say it that way. <laughs> Everyone's confused now. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> they're wondering why we were confused. <laughs> so we uh, we didn't. I did. I So I, that kind of decreased it, I would think. But anyway, it wasn't enough really? in my mind. No, I don't know. No. So What do you want, a turtle? <laughs> well, you know what sucks? Choker? <laughs> kind of there. So, so then I thought... Well, I'm going to, you know what I should have done is I should have gone down a needle size. Okay. That would have been smart. Yeah. So what I did was then I went down a needle size and then decreased. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think I did too much then. Okay. So now it's like, it, it fits fine and it's, it's nice. It's good. Yeah. But I do feel like it's not, it's not like Joking there, you. but I would probably be more comfortable with it and i watched it and stuff so it's it's as good as it's gonna get yeah as far as that goes so that's why i haven't weaved in anything because i was thinking i might undo the last i cord bind off rip it back a little bit i cord's pretty stretchy right so i was yeah. gonna say i wonder if you could make an even stretchier bind off probably could but i really like the i, -cord I do one. too so it looks nice. um yeah i think probably I'll put it on. Yeah, put it on. Yeah. Right now. Yes. I'm I'll get tangled it. in it. Why? How? Well, because it's like, okay, with the hair, like if it was a little bit wider, I could just take it on and put it yeah. off without having Is to kind really of... Is it really smushy? Like, you smash your head putting it on? Well... <laughs> Is it that bad? I don't... Well, I mean... <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. Is it... Okay. For, well, for one thing, I've only had my hair up when I've tried it, and that okay. adds, you know, kind of a okay. thing. Okay. Okay. If you don't come out of here, we'll, we'll rest. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. It's not that bad. See, I think that's good. You don't like it? You still think, you think it's too tight now? I just kind of feel like it's a little bit like, you know how I am, weird. Well, that's, so, I don't know. Is it supposed to be like up in the back and down in the front? I think you or, do whatever you want. No, I know, but like, that's what I'm just wondering. Is if I think it looks nice. It looks dude. round. It looks like... No, I think it looks really, really good. Okay. Yeah, no, I think it looks way better than it did. Definitely, and I think it's way better it than it looks. It looks like it goes. Like, it, 
it doesn't look weird. Like, yeah. oh, she added something. It, <laughs> it, it looks like it, it's great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. But it's up to you. No, it's like sitting right here like this. It's fine. Yeah. But, but you still wish it was even, you wish it was looser? Well, only because getting it over my head. That didn't seem like it was that much work. Was it that much work? It was exhausted, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> you see me break out in sweat. <laughs> I mean, okay. it didn't smash your hair that much. I was that expecting, much. I was expecting it to really be like, <laughs> really have to head. work it, you know? All right, let's see. But you didn't have to work it that hard. You made it look very easy and effortless. See, look at that. You made it look so easy. It's, All right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's up to you. No, I... See, but now I can't tell what it's done to my head. Yeah, I can put my glasses great. on. It looks great. Don't, I mean, put, your glasses. Glasses. don't put my glasses on. Don't look is what you're saying. <laughs> you know, I was looking at this one thing one time. They were talking about using... I think it was some makeup thing. I yeah. was watching like a tutorial on something mm -hmm. a couple years ago, but something about using a magnifying mirror. Oh gosh. And well, I have to, don't you? No. No, not yet. I try not to. Cause... Well, that's what she was saying is, you, well, you get to the point where you have to, because you just can't see anything. I don't want to see anything though. I mean, that's If thing. you're trying to put makeup on your face, like do something with mascara or something. I use, I just use a close up mirror. Well, I just get closer to my mirror to do my yeah, eyeliner. Honey, that doesn't work for all of Okay, all right. <laughs> I just, just try not to look as close as possible because if I look closer, then I see all my pores. Right, that was her point, was you're allowed to look to do something, yeah. but don't sit there and yeah. look a lot. It's, <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. I think the only time I use my magnifying mirror is when I'm plucking chin hairs, uh -huh. you know, because it's hard to like yeah. see and feel. Well, wait till they're gray. Of course, oh gosh, you've yeah. got blonde hair, so mm -hmm. maybe Yeah, that's... but I have some dark, dark, oh, really? dark chin hairs. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that so. sucks, but at least then you can see them. Exactly. Like, exactly. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's better to be able to see them and get them out. And get them out, yes. But I carry around tweezers like all the time. Do you? Because you'll time. just feel And I have them in different hair. places in yeah. the house because it irritates the Oh, me too. Me. Like right now, do you have any tweezers? I do. Because I can not, really, I can not with me at the really table. I like tweeze some right now. Oh. It's, it's irrit It'll irritate me. I so know. Bad. I have things that we get irritated by because that's something we always have to talk about. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hear something hit the way. Poor bird. bird. Uh, oh. I had a different shirt on today, the one that would kind of cover up my fat arms, mm -hmm. and um, it, I've already taken the tag out of it. I've worn it successfully many times. Mm -hmm. Today, I felt something mm -hmm. on my back, and I was oh. like, it kept bugging me and bugging me, so I had to change. So, oh, you didn't find what it was and just cut it out? I don't even know if there's anything there. Oh, it's just your imagination. I think it just gets in my head. It's like, <laughs> something's, something's poking me. Something's, something's poking me. <laughs> Doesn't that happen to you? No. Okay. I'm like probably the least sensitive. I oh, know. that's true. Like, <laughs> and I imagine things are touching me. So. We're a great pair. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so I'm happy to. Okay, well, now I'll um, try weaving in the ends. Well, and it's stuff. up to you. If you're not happy well, with it, then change it. But I just think it's, I think it's, that's how I would want to wear it. Well, maybe you should put it on your head. No, because it's not mine. <laughs> My, oh, hair, my hair, you would don't get want smashed. to have to do it. I my see. hair would get yours gets back to being nice and full. Mine is like this is as full <laughs> as it's gonna get, like without more ratting and hairspray. Oh. So okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. I don't it's know. It's not me that has to judge it. It's you. It's yours, you know? I so. like how it looks. I don't really want to have to go through the process of doing that. Mm -hmm. But I just, you know, I have to see how often I'll grab it and put it on and off. Yeah, true. But so maybe leave your ends then in case you decide. Case. Just make it cute tassels or something. I could make a little tassel yeah, thing. And the other good thing about the ends is it helps me know how it's supposed to go. Oh, yeah, Because it's a little bit confusing when you put these things on because there's like a line of oh, here. Oh, okay. That's supposed to line up with your shoulders? Yes, because okay. it's supposed to be kind of a raglan style. Okay. But it's hard when you're figuring out when you're putting it on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know like in the big picture, it's not real hard. Well, there are people with bigger struggles. I don't know. That's a pretty big struggle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, to... so do you have it on? Is that inside out or is it? Is that I have no idea. Oh, you know what? It sure is. Okay, I was gonna say it's not it looked a little bit. It doesn't look as good. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do to it? <laughs> just wearing it, you ruined it. Oh gosh, yeah, taking it back off just. Uh, yeah, I told you. I told you there's a problem with it. <laughs> so, you know, don't you like it much better? No, that it's not like... inside out. I do actually. <laughs> I like Problem it a lot solved. better. No, I love it. <laughs> Right. I like the neckline. I think I, I wouldn't want it any tighter, looser. I mean, it depends on what look you're going for. If you're going for off the shoulder, then no. yeah, looser, but you're no. not. So I don't know what more you'd 
like how much more you I want. Just, I think it would have been absolutely <clears throat> perfect had I either not gone down the needle size okay. or not done the decreases, the final decreases. Okay. But I think that doing both of those was a little yeah. overkill. Okay. All right. Which is kind so of... So will you always wonder if you don't go back and It could always be that mystery. Yeah. You're always going to wonder if I, I hadn't know. have done could one it, of those could things. Could love have been that much deeper? <laughs> Dig a would I have deeper. worn it just that one more time? One more time. That would have been changed. Could my hair have looked better? Yeah, that's it, true. It, it, you it's know. all things you got to think about. You These know? are things that oh, I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> Maybe. So funny. <laughs> what about you? Uh, what you got over there? Well, I just finished one thing. Okay. Finished That's the hat. that hat. That's oh my that gosh. Hat. Those colors are Isn't phenomenal. Pretty? I love so them. Pretty. Um, I'm trying to think what's the. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, so this was. Do they even show I'm gonna, I don't know Well, I'm going to be holding it up because it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this is the. I love it. What's it called? The Dahlia hat. Dahlia. By Jonathan. Oh. Hollow. Is it really Jonathan? Yeah, I mean, okay. I think so. I'm not saying there's Jonathan anything wrong with Jonathan. Jonathan. I just was Hollow. wondering if you were having yeah, a speech no problem. Yeah, there's no H. There's no H okay. in it. So, so this is the hat. It's so I think it's pretty. Beautiful. I love it. I it love was, your yarn choice. It was fun to knit. Very fun to knit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was very fun. <clears throat> the only problem I have is I knit it with, you know, I think it calls for DK weight yarn. And that is what I did. I think it's DK. Yes, DK weight yarn. And I did the size adult large, which is the biggest they have. Yeah. And it's not large. And granted, I didn't take a gauge swatch. I probably could have gone up you a needle need size. You shouldn't need a gauge swatch on a hat. I, I, know. I mean, I should have probably. Would say, yes, you yeah, did. I probably should have gone up a needle size. Yeah, that's going to smash your hair for sure. I mean, what do you think? I mean, it doesn't even cover your. See, I, I think you're supposed to pull it down more. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. It just doesn't even cover. Like your, I like a hat. I don't mind a beanie style hat as long as it covers my ears. I feel like that's the purpose of a hat. It's like that hat that I yeah. knit like that. Yeah. I don't think I brought it out, but yeah, I think I might frog it just so that I can use the yarn. It's like, what good does it do to, know. oh, you know what though? I might try giving it to a child. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. I, Maggie was over the other day and I put it on her and she actually kept it on and it was a little big on her, but I'm thinking by fall, winter, yes. it might fit her perfect. And how is she? She's going to be two next month. Okay, so my yeah. granddaughter, I mean, it would, yeah. the one that I have yeah. that I showed last time. Yeah. It was a little big, like I had to like fold it up a little bit, but she could even wear it more slouchy. Maybe. Gosh, it's so pretty. But it's beautiful. Do you have any more of that yarn? Yes. Okay. So the yarn I used was Deer Sweet back when she was knitting yarn. It was called Pom Pom. It was her Sparkle DK. And this is one of those skeins that I've had sitting on my shelf and I was like, it's pretty, it's pretty. But then when I skeined it up or caked it up, caked it up, yes, and started knitting the hat, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Especially with this cream. Yes. It really yes. complements it. And the it. cream was just um, Echo View Fiber Mill Ranger Merino Yarn. It's Ooh. their three-ply DK. It's just Merino Wool and Rambouillet. So that was the, the white that I yeah, used. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's and so I still pretty. have, I mean, I don't know if that's enough. It looks You like could enough. reverse it. I could, but I don't know if I have enough of, although I might have another, I don't know if I'd have enough of this. I know, well, but if you. Oh yeah, well, you probably use I don't know what, I don't know actually which one you use, or if you use, I should, I should you could weigh it. Yeah, I should look at that. And see how much you Because that would tell me what colors A and B, you know. But some people, there is a, um, you can do it in one color. So just one color, which I think you miss out on the beauty uh, yeah. of the two colors. I do too. But um, let's see. So let's see what you know. What are. this reminds me of, and maybe mm -hmm. you know, maybe this is. You know how on the beach sometimes they put those blown glass oh, ball yeah, type yeah. things that, yeah, you, find? that you find. Yeah, find. Yeah. Because look at that picture. No, <laughs> in your hand. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like that. Doesn't yeah. that make it look like? Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Balls yeah. Sitting yeah. On the ground. Definitely, they look like balls for sure. Um, okay, so the, the colorways are in weird, a different language, not weird, but different language. So I can't tell which one. One's 241 yards and one is, I don't know. Well, honey, I would just I weigh know. what you have left there. Yeah. And, and then just you make sure I'm enough for yeah. whatever. Yeah, but that would be pretty. Yeah. Worst. That would be, that'd be really pretty. It'd be great if I could get another hat out of it and just yeah. go up a needle size. Because it, it would make it easier to knit, too, going up a needle size because it was Oh, it was a little bit of chunky. pain. No, I mean, it wasn't bad. I enjoyed knitting the What hats. size needle was it on? It is... I just want to 
want to keep showing it. It's so pretty. A four and a six. So the okay. ribbing is a four and then the half six. Is six is like a normal half yeah. size. So Although for DK, I guess. I know. Yeah, you definitely could. So maybe go up to, I don't know, would I go up to a seven or would I go up to an eight? I would try it on a seven. seven. I don't know. I don't like knitting on eights or nines. Yeah. Well, the thing is you'd want it to be not too stretchy to where you right. lose the pattern. Or... That's true. Yeah. So maybe just go up one. Or if you could just figure out what the stitch repeat is yeah. in multiples of. Yeah. And just add a repeat. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I even thought I should have, I did go up, I think an extra, an extra repeat of the pattern. I think I did. Um, but okay. I probably should have gone up even more. Yeah. Because it fits fine, like, circumference That's true. So I just need it to be taller, you know, bigger. Uh -huh. So I think if I would have just done another repeat or two. So like actually, before, that's maybe before starting Before the decreases, decreases yeah. yeah. So that's what I could have done. That's probably yeah. what I should have done. It's even gone, done even more. I think that's worth a try. I think so, too. I really like the hat. I really like it. It's, it's really beautiful. Pretty. Yeah, and it was fun. You know, some hats you get bored with, but this one I was like, it was a lot of fun. Well, part, yeah, I don't know if it was more the pattern or those colors together, Oh, I know. they're awesome. And it was funny because when I was picking yarns, I was really like, oh, I want to make sure that the, you know, the pattern, that it shows through really well. And so, and of course I love pink and I love sparkle. So yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, that's like the perfect. And I don't have a lot of DK, so I didn't have a huge option, you know, lots of options, but I just, yeah, I loved this color. I thought it was so pretty. Awesome. So pretty. So yeah, Very that cool. was fun. So Dahlia hats. Oh, I better be writing this down yeah, for those show notes should. that I yeah, may or may not do. Yeah, Dahlia hats. Speaking fun. of show notes. Uh -oh. Well, no, um, our last episode, did we have giveaways we were supposed to do? I don't remember either. So here's what I did. I picked some names. Okay. I did pick a name for, um, well, I know we had stitch markers from Three by the Sea. Okay. Because they're in my bag still. Yes. But oh, then, did we have some yarn we well, were giving away? But I was wondering, had we decided we were giving it away or did we just talk about maybe giving it away? Because that's what I couldn't that's remember. True. That's true. That one yeah. and the blue. I, I think we talked about maybe they'd be giveaways and maybe they wouldn't. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, that's hard. This yarn is so pretty and I want to keep it all. I should have just made better notes so that I'd know. Or you can go back and watch the podcast. I know, but oh my gosh. Somebody else tell us. Yeah. So Gaddy. Well, yarn. so that's what I thought was if we said we're doing the yarn, we'll I do think it. we did. Do you? I think we did because we loved it, but we were like, oh. We've kept some other yarns. So we were like, we should use this as a giveaway. But did we say we were going to do the giveaway that episode? Or was it going to be like... Well, in the future? Yeah. yeah maybe, maybe we were still deciding. Yeah. yeah. So I like... I'm good with doing the Beautiful. giveaways on YouTube. Yeah. So that, you know, everyone mm -hmm. that's watching can participate. Yeah. The problem I'm having is deciphering who is actually just comment. Because I always say, oh, just comment. Right. But if you're not telling me what you're... It would help. It, it's not really comes back to you guys need to pull your weight. Oh, I thought it was going to be your fault because you were like, we should give them a specific thing to answer if they want to. Or at least mention right. in the comment, you yeah, know, what they give want away, you know, Yeah, just something to help us out. Yes. <laughs> help narrow it down. I just can't yeah. rest. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. It could have been yesterday. It wouldn't matter. So... Uh, so we were going to do a giveaway for the ballers, the balls, okay. Okay. and that was an Instagram thing. And so we have the hashtag KKW ballers on Instagram mm -hmm. and Renee Sawyer, mm -hmm. you've won. Yay! 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 <laughs> and I'd show you what you won because that's part of the fun, right? It was like, yeah. Yeah. but I didn't get it together. Oh. I know basically, wah, wah. I know, I know, what a Big loser. <laughs> I'm going to send you some minis, of course, so you can do more balls, balls. or whatever you want. But uh, it'll be a surprise. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. Picture it beautiful. Yeah. It'll be pretty. Uh, and then I did, we got two names of people that I think we're going to say won the stitch markers. Okay. Or are we sending them all together? I just don't know. I guess we can decide it for ourselves, you know? I can show them. That's beautiful. Dang. I know. <laughs> mm. Oh gosh, so I'm so I feel really bad. So I'm just gonna say that we have some winners. Yeah. I don't know that we were sending these all to one. Per oh, I know we're gonna divide it. That's a yeah. lot. That's a lot. Yeah. So even if we divided it in half, mm -hmm. do you think that 
Or do you think we should just add them with different prizes from time to time? You could do that. That'd be fun. Or I think they're fun little they're, yeah, they're adorable. They are very cute. And uh, I think they're cute to kind of add in. Yeah. Those okay. Cute. I like the flowers. Well, then you know what we could do. And I am going to give this whale to Katie Arnold. Okay. I had that written down. Katie Arnold wins this whale, and um, so let's do this. <laughs> We're such dorks. Okay, oh, yeah. so Katie Arnold, you're going to be a winner. You are a winner. <laughs> you're going to be a winner. <laughs> At some future time in your life, you will be I a predict that you're going to be a winner. <laughs> Go buy be, that lottery ticket. might not be right now, <laughs> exactly. but you're going to be a winner. You're going to be a winner. You're the potential Just believe winner. in yourself. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but only Katie. Only Katie's the winner. <laughs> Soon potential to be winner. winner. Potential winner. And Kathy oh. Goodman. Is she a winner? Yep. <laughs> Currently a winner. Currently a winner. So let's do this. Uh, send me a message on whatever. I would prefer, I would really prefer that you email me or do it on Instagram. But, you know, because on here it's just a little bit hard for me to, it, I'm going to stop making excuses. Just either send the me an email. Life is very complicated. <laughs> I got chickens to throw corn at. I've got um, two dogs. Two dogs. A daughter coming home. I yeah. mean, she's got lots going on. There's something going on. Something's going on. Something's going on. Something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can uh, tell me. You know, there's the flowers. Oh, you're really gonna make it complicated. Okay. I am. <laughs> okay. Well, if something was like, oh my god, I have to have those gummy bears or something like that. Yeah. Tell me that. So that I make sure that you get what your little heart desires. That's right, because you are a winner. Based on your options. <laughs> Gosh, there's so many options. I know, right? And if you would like one of these, mm -hmm. um, you, and you can tell me which one, and whoever gets to me first. Mm -hmm. yep. So I've totally overcomplicated that. Oh, yeah, 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 you are complicated. And That's our baller, sure. our baller winner is definitely going to get some. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of these too, because there's all lots of pretty fun, fun, fun. And that was from Three by the Three Sea. Three by the Sea. I just love their stuff. Yeah, she's got really cute stuff. Yeah, even their business cards are super it's cute. So Look cute. at that. Yes, definitely. So, and that, and from this point forward, at mm -hmm. least if we remember to do this this way, we're gonna say when we have a giveaway that in your comment, please mm -hmm. just tell us. Mm -hmm what it is you'd like. Do you think there's really somebody on there though that's going to comment about something else and go, darn, I won? Like, do you really think somebody's going to be like, I didn't want to win? I don't know. Because I <laughs> comment, mean? I, yeah, I comment on people. But wouldn't you be excited if somebody said no, you won? No, I personally wouldn't because I feel like I get things. Well, of course you're a podcaster, but if right. you're not a podcaster, wouldn't you be like, oh, cool. I, I, hon I honestly can't answer that because really? what if it's something I don't want? Then I'd be, you it'd be awkward. On. It would be like. You could pass it on to somebody. But I, I mean, not Nobody everyone, know. not everyone know. has that in their life. Yeah, okay, <laughs> they can pass yarn on too. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not trying to make it complicated, but I have. She's a complicated person. <laughs> so this is Gaddy yarn. Yes. Yes, and this is. Oh, we for, we didn't know how to pronounce. Oh, that. but that was the Lord of the Rings yes. reference. Yes. That I should have known. I really like those, but and this one is pumpkin pasties. Oh, we decided the they're not boob covers, nipple right. covers. They're uh, all sorts of yumminess. They're yummies, yeah. <laughs> Which I mean, <laughs> last night. We'll oh, there. we were what watching. Last uh, night? <laughs> Please tell us. We were watching Ink Master. Oh yes, love yes, that show. Yes. Except that you know, like everything else, the more the seasons go on, the more stupid drama they put in oh, there. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. you got to keep it coming. I don't want to. No, I hate it. <laughs> I hate drama. I hate. I don't need to see people fighting and yeah. being mean to each other. Mm. We have enough of that going on. Yeah. That's true. I want to see the ink. I want to yeah. see the artwork. Yeah. You know, yeah. or if it's a cook, I used to love worst cooks. America's Worst Cooks or Worst Cooks in America. Oh, that sounds good. It was a fun one until, you know, like a few seasons in, then they just go over the top mm. with making these people look like they're really stupid. Oh, and yeah. It's like, no. Mm. If you were able to get on a plane and fly to the location of this place, you can boil water. That's right. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. make your stupidity believable. Yes. You yeah. know? <laughs> so anyway, we're watching uh ink master mm -hmm. and one of their challenges they had these models that were basically naked but they had like little something on the mm -hmm. bottom i don't know what it was and then the little things over their See, nipples that's what i said i was like i, I got so excited i was like look look 
they're pasties. Yeah, I think they yeah. are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up on Amazon and see if they have pasties. Oh, to see if it's a real thing. If okay. I'm just making things up. Well, nobody's ever asked me to model for them for anything, much yeah. less showing my. See, okay. See, they're pasties. Oh. Otherwise known as nippies. Nippies. <laughs> yeah. See, they're. Oh my gosh, that's, that's freaking hilarious. So you wouldn't even have to wear a bra. That's my whole that life. Pull them up. Yes. They pull them up. See, they are really. Okay. So last time when I said I was going to go to Amazon and go shopping, I should have you actually done gone it. Sh shopping, yeah. And that's what came up when I said pasties for women. So it came. Oh, up you actually Amazon. put it for women. Well, I don't know if there's pasties for men. I know, but maybe. when you searched, did you put in pasties for women? No, or is that just what it just came, came up? up? Okay. Yeah. Because it would never occur to me to search for pasties for men. No, is but what maybe saying. it's a thing. I don't know. They have their own special things. They do. Yeah. It's awesome. Anyway. So it can be something edible or it can be something you put on your lady parts. And it can be both in well, one product. Okay. Oh, and no. If you want a nibble maybe. on a pasty. <laughs> Yeah, unless okay. you like eating rubber. <laughs> you go for it, Michelle. Tell us how it is. <laughs> Maybe we could do that on the, on the oh, podcast. No, <laughs> wow. We might have to pause for a second. Oh, God. I finished a sock. <laughs> a shorty oh, sock. Man. So the Desert Vista Dye Works founding Beautiful. mothers. Why do you have your clip in there still? That is yeah. so that I know where, okay. For the next sock? Are you on the second one? Um, for when I do the next sock. <laughs> <laughs> I have a reason, okay. okay. Do I have to I trust you. everything? <laughs> yes, you do. Um, no, seriously, because I, I do fewer stitches down here, mm -hmm. but to do the heel, you need to have 64 to do the OMG heel that I yes. do. So it reminds me, okay, this is where I start doing my increases to get up to 64 stitches okay. to okay. do the heel. Okay. So. There you go. There's a story. <laughs> you sweat no. What else is she gonna ask me? <laughs> I don't know the answer to it. Exactly. Oh my gosh, my makeup's going everywhere. Uh, <sighs> why do I wear makeup? You I, know, that's the question. That's beautiful. So you finished one sock. I, fin I finished that one sock and yeah. then I... It matches your shirt. Yes, I should... Well, I'll Very patriotic. That. I'll You're going to finish it by 4th of July? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> awesome. Of course I am. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I have man. another sock going. Mm. And then I figure when I finish one of these, then I'll go back and finish that one. Nice. This is freaking beautiful oh, yarn. Wow. Um, this is... This was one of my community service items. It was it's koi pond oh, right. from Artistic Yarn by yes, Abby. Yes, love her. And it's just so it's pretty. So pretty. What pattern? This pattern is called something. I there have. I go again asking I know. something. You know. It's usually but me asking you things and putting you on the spot. Yeah. Is that, is I'm this payback? Off. I'm rubbing off on you. <laughs> Maybe so. Oh, well, it's, it's really a, pretty though. I'll come across it because I have it written down. It's such a pretty pattern. It is really pretty, and it's free. Nice. So I can totally share it with you guys, because I just, of course, do my own toe, you know, the toe that I always yeah. do, the heel that I always do. Mm -hmm. So it's just this pattern repeat of like four rows. Awesome. So I, I have it written on a note card here. I will find it before we end yeah. and put it That's up there. Fun. That way you don't even have to try to find it. Oh, nice. Yeah. You can be really lazy. <laughs> no, oh, we're being sweet. helpful. That, okay, whatever. Yeah. Call helpful. it lazy. I call it helpful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so what do you have? Well, I just have a lot of failures. Oh. Projects that I feel like, oh my gosh, what the hell am wow, I doing? Wow, really? Like, I just feel like I'm like, don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Part of it's just I overthink everything. So the pattern that I was knitting for my daughter's boyfriend's mom. Mm -hmm. I completely ripped out, even though I'd gotten really, really far on it. Um, the garden variety. I you That's, guys saw it last time. And a lot of people had very nice things to say about it. We're very good, but you knew in your heart that it wasn't. Well, I went through the video. She has like a video or something showing you how to join the two sides. Oh, yeah. And so I joined it and it, that went really well. Like oh. I was shocked. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna screw this up and have to rip out the whole thing. But I actually made it through, started knitting on the one side. I think what overwhelmed me was then I was reading further ahead, which I guess you shouldn't do. And it said, now do the same thing to the other side all over again. And I was just like, I'm going to do this like twice. Like, I don't like shawls like that, I guess. 
you know? I think what they say is you should read through the pattern before starting Oh, probably. It. <laughs> probably. Then you know what you're getting yourself probably. into. Probably. And so... Really? So you hated doing it that much that you there didn't want to do it again? There was a part of the pattern um, that... Was it the trellis part? That with the yarns I was using, it was just very hard. Like some of the stitches were just hard to like work. I'm trying to remember huh. which part of it it was. Uh, maybe it was the dahlia when I was knitting the dahlias. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, you yes, have to make a dahlia. Yes, it was, because I remember you telling was. me that, yep. And it's not like that making the dahlia is hard, but it was, um, you have to go two rows below the second stitch on the left needle, yarn over, pull up a loop. Knit. I, it was just, when I started thinking, oh my gosh, I have to do this all over, this whole section all over again on the other side too, I just started feeling like, I don't love this that much. And the yarns. I love the whole scarn yarn, super soft, but I felt like I needed to go down a couple needle sizes even more and then it would have made it smaller because I wasn't liking how it was knitting up. It needed to be, to me, it needed to be tighter. Like it needed to be, you know, and with the whole scarn, it was just looking too lacy and I okay. didn't like that, you know? Even though you know that that stuff was gonna It does on. plump up when you wash it, but I just didn't, I wasn't sure that it would plump up enough. And it was just making me feel stressed. Okay. Because well, I was like, good. I'm not I'm not guaranteed that I'm gonna love this when it's done. Yeah. I don't know. I think I will, but I'm not positive. And so I just was like, you know, it's not worth it. It's not worth wasting yarn on something that I'm not gonna be super proud of. And I do overthink things when I knit things for other people. That's why I, I feel better just knitting things. And then when I find someone I wanna give it to, then give it to them. Yeah. Instead of knitting it for them on purpose. Plus there's so much pressure to get it done. Well, I don't, she doesn't know I'm knitting it, so I don't feel pressure, but I just feel like I have to love it. And it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna love it. And I can't gift something to somebody if I don't love it myself. Yeah. So then I started um, Stephen West, his striped Estian. I don't know how you pronounce it, Estian. I don't know. Um, and again, I'm very far on it and still am like, do I love it? Oh, do no. I not? <clears throat> so, and again, I'm probably overthinking it and I'm like mid just starting oh. the row, which is stupid. Okay, so first of all, these two colors were supposed to stripe and I really thought they would stripe because I'm like, they're very they're different. Very, yeah, they're very right. different. So they're supposed to stripe. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look very stripey. But it's really pretty. You think so? Yeah. Okay. So, well, you know what? If it was just that, it would be, that's nice. But that pink. The pink, yeah. really complements it so much. Well, and I'm going to do, for the SGN, you, um, you do, that's what, the pink on mine is what the green is on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change and do different mohair for each of those sections. So it's not going to just be pink each section. I'm going to do, I can't remember. I just pulled out a bunch of mohair that I'm going to decide as I go type thing. I might pull out a brown that's sparkly too and do a section of that. So yeah. it's going to be different sections. So, so far I've enjoyed a lot knitting it. it there is some parts where you're just like, oh my gosh, it gets kind of boring because you feel like, you're just knitting, you know, but it's been relaxing. Now I'm getting into the funner part, the yes. yarn overs and stuff like that. Um, so I hope, I hope I like it. Okay. So what is it that you're, that you're not feeling confident about? Yeah. I mean, it's really pretty. Is it um, just because those two aren't as stripey as you wanted? Yeah. They're not as stripey as I wanted. And I'm not a huge, I just don't think I'm a huge brown fan. And there's a lot of brown in that which I should have known because obviously it's not hiding in here. Like <laughs> the brown and pink and cream. I know. I'm so hoping. Pretty. Okay. I'm hoping. I think I'm just overthinking. You're it. overthinking. And then part of me is really like, pretty. part of me too is thinking, um, now I have to go in and, you know, once you do all the yarn overs and you've got to knit and purl into the, those yarn overs and stuff, I'm just hoping, I really have to pay attention because with mohair, you can't just, oh, yeah. Yeah. you've got to really see it. You know? Is it mohair on its own? Yeah. Okay. And he didn't, I mean, I could have probably done something different. Um, well, he did mohair, mohair silk. That's what he did. I mean, he didn't double it up. Cause at first I was like, should I have doubled it? You know? No, that makes it worse. I think yeah. as far as knitting. It. Yeah. I that's mean, what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. So I don't know. I think I'm overthinking it and being too, but the thing is if I finish it and I don't feel like it's like 
quality enough to give to her, I can always do something else. Okay, but quality, so. your knitting is gonna be good. Yeah. You're using yeah. nice yarns, it's a great yeah. pattern. So you're talking about the colors. Is yeah. What this is coming yeah. down to. And she likes pink, I know she does. But this pattern is very, very different from what I originally, what my daughter and her boyfriend had picked out for his mom. I mean, it's they're completely different shawls. So I'm hoping that... But you know what's good about you just picking something that you think is sometimes... Yeah. Sometimes people think they know what we like. Yeah. And true. we're like, boy, I wish they'd branch out. Yeah. Or um, you might not even know that, well, I really like this style or whatever. Because yeah. that's not like some sort of weird... Um, garment right like someone right. would be like i would never wear yeah. that yeah yeah it's, i think it's pretty it's it's a pretty uh shawl but it's not like there's nothing weird about it yeah true true and true. those colors are fun I, I just think they're beautiful and they're kind of a neutrally kind of thing yeah, so true, it's true. it's probably more versatile than the one that you were doing for her yeah yeah and i the thing is i have to enjoy it while i'm knitting it and I just feel like I wasn't loving knitting that other one. Now, I have knit wraps before. Hoagie's wrap years ago was two pieces. Right. That you had to knit, and I finished it, and I did it. And I, I don't wear it ever, but I did finish <laughs> it, and I thought it was beautiful. Yeah. Um. So it's not like I'm against it. I guess I just, I don't know. I just wasn't, I think it was the, the yarn. I was just, it wasn't the right yarn for the right project. But then to have to go back and repick all new colors just felt overwhelming to me to start over. And I just was like, oh, I'm done. I don't know. So. Yeah. No, so, I get it. My, uh, that stitch surfer sock that I was doing, I ripped out. Did you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I liked them together, especially at first. Mm -hmm. Like at first I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, I, I mean, I don't like dislike it, right. but it's not like. Not enough to finish it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, so that's one of my fails. I have another one too, but go ahead. You do? What do you, what do you, yeah. Okay, well, what else I have is... so. Well, here's a fail in a way. Okay, good, good. Um, That'll make me feel better. So Carrie, Creative Obsession, mm -hmm. her birthday was Friday. Oh, yes. And we all got together on Thursday, mm -hmm. and I gave her her birthday gift, which one of the things I was giving her was supposed to be this cowl, mm -hmm. which is very much like the hat that I just did mm -hmm. with her, the yarn. Yeah, because it's the same pattern, right? Just Well, cowl? I mean, it's by different people. Oh, it is? It okay. is, yeah. Oh, interesting, okay. So, this is the fiber that she turned into yarn. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, and purple, she likes purple, even mm -hmm. though that's a super dark purple. But anyway, I wanted to give her this cowl for her birthday with her yarn, because mm -hmm. I knew that she really liked this yarn. Mm -hmm. So I ended up just giving her this, like this, instead. You can either finish it yourself. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when you asked her. I was like, oh, she's giving it to her to finish. Or you can give it back to me and I'll finish it. And by the time it's cold, I'll It'll be ready. I'll get it done for you. But that's the thing when you, I think there was just something, well, for one thing, mm -hmm. having just knit the hat like this mm -hmm. and then doing a cowl with the exact same yarn, even mm -hmm. though I like the yarn, yeah. It's just kind of like, I need a break. Yeah, yeah, you need to move on to something else, yeah. And then that pressure of, I knew I had to get it done by a certain mm -hmm. time, and then I like... I know, isn't that funny how it just stresses you yes, out? And I used it. to feel bad about giving away a shawl that I'd finished like three months ago to somebody, because I'd be like, well, I know it for myself. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, no, because obviously I liked it enough to finish it, I liked it enough to photograph it, and to actually put it on, and to show it on the podcast, so... And it took, it had, then I had no pressure. I just yeah. felt like I finished it because I wanted it. But then if I gift it to somebody, it's because I really do like it a lot. Yeah, it's not like know? it's perishable. Right. It's not going yeah, exactly. bad. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But I used to feel bad about that because I thought, I'm like, you felt like you used, used shawl, okay. you know, but it's like, no, it's really not used. I've worn it once and I. I kind of felt that way about, you know, if I take something out of my stash and gift yeah. it. Yeah. But it's just like going it's to a yarn yard store. Yeah, it's yeah. not like I, exactly. you know. Unless you give the person the same yarn that they gave you, which I've done that to carry. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> or, but then it can become a fun thing to go back and yeah. forth over the years. And she or. liked it, obviously. She bought it. <laughs> so. I mean, there is that. She just, obviously picked it up. We would be safe, like, if someone did that with something mm -hmm. we gave them, because we wouldn't remember. Oh, I'd have no We'd idea. We'd have no idea. Well, that's why I gave it to her, because obviously I had no idea where I'd gotten it from and didn't realize it was from Carrie's. But if we gave something to someone and they gave it back to us, we'd yes. be, we oh, probably would no be idea. like, awesome! Oh, thanks. I, I love, love this. It. Beautiful. Yeah, I'd have no idea. Yep. Yeah. And I wouldn't care. I mean, that's the thing. No, same. It'd be awesome. Yeah. I, yarn is yarn, so yeah. it's all good. Mm.
Did you want to talk okay. more bad stuff? Sure, or? yeah. So that's a cute, cute bag. I think I showed it off. Cute. Carrie had made it for me out of her ice dyed fabric. She she ice dyed this, which is so amazing and pretty. It is. So this pattern, when I saw it, I was obsessed. I was like, I have to knit this pattern. It is called, and this is the one that I said wasn't impressive unless you go online. Oh, and look oh the at pressed flowers. The pressed flowers shawl by Savory Knitting. The picture and people had told me after I talked about this, they were like, "Oh my gosh, you're right." I looked online and there's the pictures are amazing. It's like so much prettier um, when you see it in person. Okay, so I started it, and I'm using. I love these yarns; they're gorgeous, and I don't remember who they're by. Do I have a tag? No, I do not. So. Oh wow! Hot pink. Love it. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. I can't remember where I got it from. Was it Knit Picks? It's it so puffy. Yes, it was Knit Picks. Okay. It was Knit Picks. So here's my start. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the things I like about it is it's very soft. Um, I like the pattern that's emerging, the, the, the flowers, the pressed flowers. I think they're really pretty. I love the colors, love the combo. The only problem I'm having is that... I don't know if, again, I should have done a gauge swatch, I guess, um, if I should go up a needle size because it's hard getting into some of these stitches. It looks very dense. Yes, it is dense. It that's, looks almost felted. Yes, and that's the thing. The shawl is kind of, it's oh, kind of dense. Okay. But I do think I want to go up a needle size. It feels nice, though. It least. does, yeah. yeah. It's soft. It's not like cardboard, right. you know. Um, but, and you want to be able to see the pattern, so it's got to be tight enough to oh, where yeah. you can see the flowers. True. So, and then my other issue was, oh my gosh, okay, so that's, <laughs> actually Michelle can probably solve this issue. The chart on here is so freaking small, and I cannot blow it up. Like, how do you read oh. that? There's no way in hell I can read that. You need a knit companion. So I'm having a very tough time read, and I shouldn't show that, because that's the pattern. Um, anyway, sorry, but it's <laughs> so difficult to read. I need to blow it up, but, my, but Bob didn't know how to blow it up on our, on our printer. He's like, I don't know how to do that. Some of it's a little confusing, the chart key. Um, they said in the pattern, I think that they did it row by row, but I never found it row by row. Cause I was like, I, I like, sometimes if a chart confuses me, I like to look at the row by row and go, okay, am I right in my interpretation oh, of the chart? Yeah. But this one, I don't, I don't think it does. I don't think it tells you. Hmm. Um, so I wish it did because then I could compare. Well, we can blow it up for yeah. you before you leave. That would be nice. Remember. So I have not worked on it in a couple weeks because of that, because the pattern is so stinking small and I cannot, I can barely read it. Um, and I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Some, you know how some patterns, it's like you're willing to go through the work to get the project done because it's so pretty. Uh -huh. I, that's what I'm debating right now. Is this pattern pretty enough? Do I like it enough? To where I'm willing to rip it out, go up a needle size. I notice you're blow using up the chart. like uh, Knitter's Pride or something. Yeah. yeah. What if you tried that same size but with a Chow Goo or a Haya Haya that are just a tad bit sharper? I probably do need sharper. I don't know if I have sharper needles. Well, we'll check. Yeah. Okay, we need to check on yes. a few things before you leave. Yeah. What size needle are you using? Um, ooh. An eight? Yes, eight. So I think it needs to go up to probably a nine. A nine or ten even. So yeah, that's an eight. But yeah, I do agree. I think it does need to be sharper needles to get through these stitches. Yeah. And um yeah, because making one, like it's just it's interesting how some patterns the way the pattern is, it makes it more difficult to do a stitch that normally would not be hard. Yeah. But because you're putting this stitch next to this stitch and you've got to make one or whatever, it makes it harder to get up under the, you know, and it's just interesting because none of the stitches are hard. It's just the yarn, not sharp needles. The chart is so stinking small. It's very hard to read it well, but yet I like the shawl and I think I think if I can loosen it up some, because I don't want a huge dense, dense shawl. Like yeah, that. it's gonna no, feel I, weird. I, it's not gonna drape. It it's not gonna... feels better than it looks. Yes. Like just what yes. I touched. Because yes. it looks like it's super dense. Totally, like, totally. Like a felted. Yes. Kinda. And I don't want it to hurt my hands either, because that's the thing. Right. I feel like, oh my gosh, it's so dense that it's like. Yeah. Um, but I love the colors, and I think, I think if I can tweak it a little bit, like I said, go up a needle size or two. 
you know, yeah. maybe that would make it more enjoyable. So I'm not giving up on it yet. I haven't ripped it out, but I'm, I'm like, <sighs> you might be starting it over. Maybe. Or if you went up yeah, a needle size, would over. you just now switch to it? No, needle? I'd okay. start over because it'd be pretty different. And yeah. if I could blow up the charts and actually well, see them That well, we can do. Oh, I mean, I know we can help you with that. That so. would be amazing. Because, yeah, I was just like, this is insane. Like, there's no way I can read this. It's like... That's oh. one of the reasons I love Knit Companion. See, I just, I don't know if I'd use... I don't know if I'd like it or not. I don't know. I, I guess I should try it. Well, I like it for a lot of reasons. One of yeah. which is because you can blow up those charts. Yeah. And that's probably my biggest reason yeah. that I like it True. is... Uh, it, that and for each pattern, you know, you can highlight where you're at, mm. row counters and stuff. And then when you switch projects... Mm. It just saves everything. Oh, it saves it so you can yeah. go back and you still know where you're yeah, at. Yeah, there's okay. been several patterns that I've been like, oh God, I don't re I have no idea yeah. where I was at. Yeah. Thank goodness I'm using Nick Companion. Okay. Because I mm -hmm. open it up, it's highlighted where I'm at, yeah. it's got the row counter. And I should go back and do it again. I should yeah. do it. Because I did it one time. I mean, I got Nick Companion, I think, and I was like, mm, I didn't really use it. And, there's things but, you can do with it that I haven't tried yeah you know you can like make notes you can do all sorts of things mm. i'm a well i have the paid one i don't know if you can do all yeah. that with the free one yeah. but i just i like i said i like it for very basic uses mm -hmm. but still it keeps mm -hmm. everything for me and totally yeah. no that's worth it for sure yeah. no i should i should do that again especially for stuff like this because i've never had a pattern that, that was that small in my life um, and and didn't have it row by row i like to see it row by row because i like to compare and make sure well and another right. problem with that one is that chart being that color mm -hmm. that makes it harder it does to, i don't like it when they color the charts like no that. i don't either i don't either and it's weird because on certain side you know on one side you do this and on the other side you do this so you have to you're constantly changing your mind okay what side am i on is it right or wrong is it you know, is this the main color contrast and color? Which one? Yes. I mean, it's just there's some thinking involved. And I don't know if I have the brain space. I've done it so far. I've, it looks like it's supposed to right now. But I'm just like, it's like those paint, not paint by numbers. It's it's like something where you feel like you really have to be intricate. And it's like, versus just a free for all. Like, <laughs> it's like, which do you want? Do you want to like really have to think? And there's really... a time for that. And there's yeah. also a time for not for yeah, that. Yeah, and I don't know if I'm just mentally like there to really have to like. Well, you have too many things going against you. I think so too. Yeah, yeah. the chart was could... readable yeah. and the needles were working. Yes, I think if I could eliminate some of those things, it would definitely give me a clearer picture of like, do I want to finish this or not? So. Yeah. But I love the colors and I ordered more yarn for it because oh. I stupidly ordered only two skeins of each color and I think I actually need like three or four skeins of each color and I didn't so think ordered it so, uh, yeah it's at my house yeah. oh okay yeah, it came oh already. just do it just start it over on a little bit bigger needle yeah yeah we'll, yeah. we'll see we'll if it works blow yeah. up the thing for you I'll Thanks. try knit companion yeah you'll be okay <laughs> I have one more fail and then uh oh, and then gosh. I'm done with failing yeah wow. so go ahead oh, you I'm go so on. sorry it's okay yeah. it's just been one of those one of those times. I need to start a new sweater, too. I've not had a sweater on the needles in forever, and I'm feeling the itch to, like, uh, I need to have a sweater on the needles. Because ultimately, I love sweaters the best. I just love yeah. sweaters. I, I, yeah. You know? I've, I'm going to wait a little while. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. All right. Have I, I don't know if I had started this. Yes. I, I have started had, oh, Well, I don't know. Maybe I just Thursday. saw it on Thursday. Yeah. Maybe I just saw it Thursday. It's called da Dots and Dashes Loop Scarf. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you guys a picture. Oops, I just moved my... Oh, well. It doesn't matter because what I'm doing is... Is it for a dog or for a human? I'm going to go for me. Okay. But, right. you know, if you There's want a picture of a dog on there. <laughs> so that's it. So you use a self-striping and a tonal or a non-self-striping. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to do it with this over the moon black hole versus nebula that I, I know I showed this last time because mm -hmm. it's so soft mm. and so pretty. Yeah, it's very soft. And it's very like, pretty. it's one of the softest sock yarns, just yeah. basic. There's no cashmere or anything mm. in it. So you're, it's a provisional cast on, and then this is not the circumference of it. Okay. It's, you know, you're going to knit it long. Mm -hmm. And then when you're, when you're done with this, however long you want, if you just want to use all of it or whatever, then you add in your solid color Beautiful. and knit, and then you kitchener it. Mm -hmm. And then, so I didn't do as many stitches as the pattern said, because I will wear it 
Oh, you have to show the dog now. <laughs> I typically wear these things doubled like that. Mm, okay. And if I had done as many stitches as the pattern called for and then doubled it, mm -hmm. it would have been like, you okay. know, too much for yeah. me. So I'm just doing that, but I Perfect. love, I love it. And this is that yarn that Kim sent me. That's beautiful. It's, that so it's soft. a lace weight, yes. so I'm gonna have to knit it together okay. to be fingering, but isn't that gonna it's be gorgeous. gorgeous? Oh yeah, it's perfect. It's, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. So I started that. Mm -hmm. I haven't knit on it a whole lot. It's kind of one of those. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a great one for taking because like if you're going to go somewhere yeah. and meet people, mm -hmm. because all you're doing now, I'm just going to be knitting for oh, like nice. ever. I'm just going to be knitting. It's very oh, perfect. So it's like a big sock. It's like a big sock. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, it's not very exciting, but I think that it's going to be, and at least when you get to the solid color, there's a little bit of a mm -hmm. pattern to follow, but I just think it's, this is one of those ones that I'm just going to like having versus actually knitting. I don't mind knitting it. Stop it, honey. Oh, so. What do you see out there? He definitely thinks he sees something. Yeah, I'm just seeing something. All right. All right. You want to talk about another failure? Yes, my last failure. Okay. So when I was with the gals the other day, I was knitting on my, um, Clouds. Oh no. Okay. Oh dear, what happened? Yeah, I was knitting on my clouds, which Michelle has knit, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I just don't know if I love knitting with just mohair. Okay. And it I, is love mohair. And I love mohair. I love mohair. So I was doing this brown, which I thought was really pretty. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Something happened. Was it off stitch count or something happened? I made a mistake. Oh, I think I like yanked out my needle on accident. And there were oh, so gosh. many stitches off. And then it was like trying to find all the stitches to get it back on. So then I was like, you know, I'm just going to start all over. No. I, yeah. Well, I wasn't that far. Okay. I mean, I had, I had brown, but okay. it was, it, I hadn't changed colors yet. Okay. I had, so then I thought, well, I'm going to start with this color, which is beautiful. It's Surrey alpaca. It's gorgeous yellow. And I, it's beautiful. Yeah. So I started with that. I just don't know if I love the look of... To me, it looks kind of sloppy and messy. And like, I wonder what's that? But it's not a mistake. Oh, because of the Suri alpaca-ness of it? I don't know, Maybe. or if it's just mohair by itself. I don't know, I just oh. feel like it looks, but yet it's so soft, so soft. You're gonna be wearing this thing wrapped around know, yourself. It's not gonna I know, matter. I know, that's the thing I have to get. So I haven't ripped it out yet, obviously. Okay. So there's, there's hope. I so, would not call that a fail. Let's okay. See. I just feel like I, you oh, know what, you know what I wish, you know what I wish. Yeah. I wish this pattern had a, um, I cord edging. I love I cord edging. It just looks neat. It does. So do it. So how would I do it? How would I do that? Cause the first row, every row is what knit. I don't know. What do you do? Slip one, make one, and then knit to the end. So would I slip? No, what I would do is do your I cord border. Yeah. Put a stitch add marker. Add that, add it. stitches to it. Like, like, like if you're going to start over. Like when you cast on. Th yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Tell me yeah, how to do it. I would, I would start with the I cord, you know, like. Slip knit, slip or whatever it is. Yeah, whatever. Is that what it is? And then, yeah, getting started with it, then do it on the other side. Yeah. You know, so basically what I would be doing is following the pattern like it says, yeah. but then just adding three stitches because I mean, I'd, I assume you'd do like a three stitch one. Yeah. Or, yeah. So then you'll just add the three stitches when you're starting. And then as you're following the pattern, your I cord sides are just irrelevant. You're just going to do what you would normally do with an I cord. Okay. And, and so, so I would do my I cord and then I would slip one, make one. Yes. And then knit the rest. And then, is do you do anything at the other end? Yeah, you just, just knit to the end. Okay. So then I would get to my last three and do my I cord. Yeah. And then turn it around. Yep. Do I cord again. Mm -hmm. And then slip one, make mm -hmm. one, purl to the end. Yep. Okay. And I think you're right. I think that would be really nice. It would just give it more stability. Like yeah. I just feel like it's very. I don't like the end. I just don't think it looks pretty. Like I feel like it looks very like. Amateur. Not prof yeah, like not yeah. professional. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Or, I mean, if you want, I would do, especially since you're only at this point, yeah. I would start over yeah. and add it as you're going. Yeah. You could, at the end, go through and do an I cord um, border. Border. Oh, that's true. That's true. And, you know, maybe, maybe that's something to think about because then if you wanted to do it all in 
say you get the whole thing done oh, yeah. and you're like, ooh, a color of whatever would true. really tie this together. True. true. Yeah, that's true. I think that's maybe what I would do. I just don't know if that's going to affect my joy of knitting it right now if I don't have that eye cord edging. Because I just Why? think the eye cord edging just looks so nice. It's lovely, but really? I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, like sometimes stuff like that just throws me. Okay. It makes me go, if it's not looking good as I'm going, yeah. it makes me just go. But you know, know that it's just a temporary and, and unfinished. Yeah. You're not, you know. Yeah, know, it's like when you're knitting a sweater and you've got that rough edge for mm -hmm. your neck. Yeah. You know, well, sure, yeah. that looks like crap, but you know you're going to go back. But I guess I don't see that all the time, though, because once you're past the neck, you're doing other things, whereas this, I see it every single row. This could be a good exercise in cognitive <sighs> behavior therapy for okay. you. <laughs> Seriously. Because I just don't think it looks good. I just think it looks ugly. Like, I'm just like... So, really? basically, you're saying mine looks ugly. No, that's the thing. That's what's so weird is it's like, I look at yours no. and I think it's gorgeous. Right, so because it's like, you've never looked at it that close. I guess maybe. Yeah. Maybe if I looked at it closer, yeah. I'd be you like, oh, I don't like that. Yep, you'd be yeah. like, wow, you really should have upped your That's game really a little horrible. bit. That's really horrible. It's really ugly. No. If I were you, I would, no, I I just, would maybe put a border it's, on it's it. It's obviously just me. I don't know. It's just... If, no, I, I think you're right. I think an I-cord border around mm -hmm. it would be awesome. Yeah. Your options at this point are to either yeah. start over, which yeah. isn't a big deal because mm -hmm. you don't have that much, but I think I would be tempted to just do it at the end just so that I could be sure, do I want it changing colors or mm -hmm. do I want it one solid color? I mean, do you? Yeah. I think I'd want to keep it just the colors that it's in. Okay. Maybe because, yeah, yeah cause you're, you've already got enough color changes as it is and then to put another color True. on the outside might be a little too much. Whereas yeah. if it just, see, it's seem, yeah. not seamless, but it just goes how it's yeah, supposed to. Yeah, start over and do it. Yeah, I think I will. I think that sounds like a good plan. Cool. Yeah. So just solving all my problems today. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> create new ones for you. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Create new problems and solve some of them. Ooh, that's really pretty. This oh, is I like that one. I've embers. Seen that one. Yes. Shawl. See, I see that. I think, oh, I should just do that one. Rip out this and do that. Well, I mean, how many different... Just like ripping out stuff. You do. You know? I just that like... is so pretty. I hope you okay, don't. Okay, all right. Although, yeah. what bothers you are the colors. I'm just not a huge brown gray person, I guess. I don't know who's going. Oh, Libby wants to FaceTime. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> I'm sure it's Maggie that wants to FaceTime. Oh. She's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. So this is what I chose to Ooh. do with my witch candy wow. and Miss Babs. That's amazing. Yarn that I showed last time. That's amazing. Yeah, I think I'm really gonna like it. For one yeah. thing, this is my new favorite color ever. Yeah, this black amazing. navy color by Miss Babs. It's called Blackbird. It's my favorite. And I love this yarn. This is, whoops, uh, this is her, it's called Kunlun. It's wool and cashmere and silk. Oh, nice. So why wouldn't you love it? Of right? course. <laughs> it's a DK weight. I, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so. Anyway, yeah, it, it, this That's is kind of like that lefty that I had started a while back and I never finished it, but I love that. So is it short rows? Is yeah. that what creates yeah. that? Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I love it. Oh, that's amazing. Feel it. Oh. oh so after, after working with this a little bit, oh. I think I have to order enough to do. Oh, that's beautiful. I, you know what I'm thinking of doing is the, the comfort... The Cozy Up Knit Girls, I did it already once in all those different colors. Yeah. That one, Cardi. Yeah, yeah. I, this is so soft. It's so soft. And I, this color is just... It's a cool color. It's awesome. I feel like it could go either way, navy yeah. or black. Like, it, and like wearing. if you look at it in the cake, you can see navy. Yep, there you is can some see black. black. Yep, yep. It's, just, it's the best color. It's the I best love it. Both worlds. That's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, I see, I this is when I love orange. I love yeah. orange when it's mixed with some other colors. I don't like necessarily orange just by itself, which it never has to be by itself. I mean, you always, it play, you can nope. always play with stuff, but this is when I love it. I love it when it's against like a navy blue and a gray. And it's, that's gorgeous. That's really Thank soft. You. Yeah, that's nice. And what I'm trying, this is a, a little experiment I'm doing is I have interchange, an interchangeable cord of the Chow Goose and I've got mm. one four inch and oh. one five inch. Oh, interesting. Cause I want to see which one I like better. Interesting. Cause I never thought that I would like the four inch ones yeah. because yeah. like, if you use nine inch circulars, I can't stand those little tiny yes. needles. I just yeah. can't do it. Yeah. So I didn't think I'd like this, but it actually kind of fits in your hand nicely. Interesting. So I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna knit some more with both of them and see which one I like better. Yeah. And, uh, but anyway, so that's really cool. haven't worked on it a ton, but I really like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really cool. And that's again embers by. Eh. I just closed it down. I don't know who it's by. Oh, oh, did you print it? Oh, you didn't print it. You <coughs> on no, it yeah, I never print them. Okay. I mean, that's not true. Sometimes I do print them. No, but it's smart. You're saving paper. Yeah. <laughs> and ink. Lisa Much. Oh, okay. Or Mooch or however. Probably not I think Mooch. it's Much. much. I, think. I think it is. M-U-T-C-H. Yes. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's so pretty. Thank you. Love it. it. Makes me want to work on it again. See, it makes me envious of other people's patterns when I don't love when I'm working on it. I know that feeling, but... So something I was going to bring up, which, uh, you know, I'm not going to name names, not going to name patterns. Okay. You know. Oh, yeah. So yes. has anybody else struggled with buying a pattern and then regretting after they bought it? Because, and I'm not going to talk about the pattern. I, I didn't even bring it today, so I'm not going to say, because I don't want to put anybody down. But I don't know, Michelle and I were talking about patterns that are so simple that they shouldn't, you shouldn't have to pay for them. You know, at what point do you charge for a pattern? Like at what, at what point is it complicated enough or it has some kind of depth to it to where you feel like, yeah, it's worth paying money for, yeah. you know, versus no, that should have totally been free because anybody could have thought, you know, like yeah. that's when a, there's no special, anything nothing going into it, nothing special. Yeah. So I bought a pattern that I felt that way about when I saw it, I was like, are you kidding me? This is it. Like, this is, I paid for this. But I don't know if there's a way to avoid that. Like, because well, you can't see a pattern right. before you buy it. And that was one of the things we talked about when mm -hmm. we were talking about this is it's, it's really too bad because I've bought plenty of patterns mm -hmm. that once I've bought them mm -hmm. and then looked through them, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do this. Yeah. There's either some yeah. element about it that I don't like or it's, mm -hmm. you know, I don't like the way it's written mm -hmm. or whatever. Right. So, yeah, you can't really preview them. Yeah. I mean, you can look at pictures. You can look at people's comments based on them knitting it, you yeah. know, so you can see that kind of stuff. But, and I've never regretted, like, I don't, I can't think of any other pattern I've regretted once I bought it because, because I feel like if people put thought into it and time, then it's worth it. Even if I end up never knitting it, or sure. even if I'm like, like even this one, the one, the garden one, the whatever it's called, um, garden variety, it's that person took huge thought and time and dedication and charts and, so I don't regret buying it, even though I don't know if I'll knit it, but I don't regret it. Yeah, that's a like, whole different story. They, yeah, yeah, they put so much effort into it. But when I buy a pattern and I look at it, and this is the first time I've ever felt this way, but bought a pattern and went, really? This wasn't free? It should have been free, you know? I I was shocked. I mean, so anyway, I just I'm curious if anybody else has struggled with that, but and I don't know, there's no solution to it, so I don't really no. know why I bought it. You just it. wanted to bitch, just and that's to bitch. totally okay. <laughs> Do you, do you feel better now? A little bit. Really. I mean, hopefully, if anybody else commiserates with me, then I'll feel better. Okay. If anybody else feels the same way, then I'll feel validated. When it's basically thinking. a stockinette or whatever, it's like there's no anything to it. But, you know, people are going to have different takes on it, you know. Yeah, because obviously I bought it. So <laughs> I saw the pictures. I, should, I guess I should have known. So it's my own stupid fault. But, oh. you know. But yeah, mm. so I just want to blame someone else instead yeah. of blaming myself. But yeah. I hear you. So, I, yeah. know. I hear you. But don't we all have tons of patterns? But like I said, if it's something that took some thought, I have no problem paying for it, obviously. I have tons of patterns like that. But are you going to show your beautiful um, blanket that you're working yes, on? Yes, I am. But I'm going to go back to the sock thing. Oh, okay. Scatter, scatter bee socks oh, by wow. Amy Stringer is okay. the one that I'm doing that koi pond mm -hmm. and this is the repeat so maybe I'll take a screenshot of it but the star means you're just wrapping the yarn twice around your needle but you're just doing that over and over again and it gives it that really neat look so pretty. but anyway I'll I'll put stuff where you can see it but okay. I came across that and and I think I have some other knitting type thing. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe that was the it, it for the knitting. Okay, that's all. So it's called Scatterby? I think so. Did you find it that way? I'm gonna look at it. I, I just I have think to it sign was, in. Oh, of course. Scatterby. Scatterby, I think. I started... Yep, right there. Oh, good. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. 
and it's it's easy. It's you yeah. Know, it's just, as just a little bit of decoration. And to to be socks. honest, some socks with the texture, especially if I'm doing mm -hmm. self striping, yeah. I kind of feel like it takes away from mm -hmm. the striping, and so I don't end up liking it as yeah. much. But that one to me just it's just just pretty. a little bit. It's just yeah, a little exactly. Bit. Mm -hmm. So I got some crazy hair up my butt and she decided did. to learn how to knit granny or not knit crochet, crochet. granny mm -hmm. squares. Mm -hmm. So here's like one of the first ones I did. I did a few, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> then I do I changed hook size because that mm -hmm. was a little bit loosey mm -hmm. for me. It just felt a little bit you know mm -hmm. like so I I am doing a different hook size, and yeah. So I watched the Bella. Coco. Bella Coco Crochet, her, um, yeah, what's it called? The closed or, um, it's, it's, it's not real holy. Yeah. And I brought my thing out so we could, cause I know someone's going to ask what How to crochet it. a solid granny. Solid granny. Yes. <laughs> yes. So Bella Coco on YouTube. On YouTube. Mm -hmm. I, it's so funny. I want, I just wanted simple because I'm not a good crocheter. Where's my hook? Uh oh. Oh, there it is. So, remember Carrie was telling us we could just put yeah. it through? And yeah. Then, so maybe a six. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Maybe a six. Oh, interesting. Looks like a six, which okay. would be a four millimeter, which I don't know what letter that would be. Mm. But anyway, so I, that's what I'm doing is, if this is accurate, mm -hmm. and that this... Well, it fits in the hole. It fits in the I hole. Mean, although she said you don't put it all the way down, though. Right. right? But, I mean, I can only... But none of it even goes through no. on the other one, right? On the five? No, and if I went up, it would go way down there. So I'm guessing it's a four. And I could... Four? No, nope, six. six. A four millimeter. Okay. If I went back to my purchases, mm -hmm. which I'm not gonna, mm -hmm. but I could actually figure this out. And you can confirm. But I'm, I'm not gonna. Because it's nowhere on here. That's so know, weird. It is kind of surprising. Because yeah. if you're gonna go grab a hook, you kind of want to know. what size it is. But anyway, so I watched the tutorial a bunch. Mm -hmm. And then I had to take notes mm -hmm. in order to remember what to do. I even had to draw pictures because, mm -hmm. and it's so funny because now I can just whip them out. Yeah, I yeah, can just yeah. do it. Not funny. But yeah, I was like, uh, and I'd tear them out a bunch of times and I'd rewatch the video. Yeah. I'm like such a moron. No, but, yeah, once you get you it, know, you get it. Yeah. And I, I liken these to like when you're learning to knit like dishcloths. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you got to do that kind of stuff mm -hmm. to get, yeah. you know, to get, you can't start with knitting a sock. Right. When you right, start knitting. Right. And as I was looking through all these tutorials, especially when I got to how to join them, then I was seeing all these really pretty mm -hmm. granny squares, yeah. like with all these neat things. Mm -hmm. and I was like, I want to do those. Mm -hmm. I had to reel myself in yeah. and just, you know, just do this one project. Yeah. Just, just patience. finish something. Yep. Yep. Crochet yep. because I never do. Yeah. And um, really fine tune those mm -hmm. double crochet, tri totally. treble crochet skills. Yes. And, and I am starting to learn how to read the stitches a little good. tiny bit, which is good. Yeah. It's not a lot, but I have a long way to go. But oh, you're doing well. I did. So I have a stack that is a mess because I put the border on them mm -hmm. and I haven't, you know, because you can just crochet those in as mm -hmm. you're joining them. Yep. So I'm just kind of leaving them, but I'll just show these because they're so pretty. They yeah. are. They're so pretty. Those were both Abby. Artistic Yard by Abby, so Desert Vista Dye Works. Mm. This one, I know mm. that uh, Lori like gave me that. She knit oh. me some socks out of that. It's Rock and String. Oh, okay. Creations. Something about a reindeer. Um, reindeer games. Mm. I love it. That's beautiful. This was an Artistic Yard by Abby. Artistic Yard by Abby. Yeah, um, this is Lemonade. This was one of them. Um, this and this. Mm -hmm. And I haven't put the border on this one yet, but this is what my stitch surfers were. Oh, okay. And um, mm -hmm. so what was funny was when I was knitting with this, this is the lemonade shop, it was fine. Mm -hmm. But when I was crocheting with it, it was so stringy. Oh, stringy. Oh, I thought you were going to say prettier. You liked no, it better. Okay. It, it really, I had a hard time with, you know how it's splitty. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of surprised me because it was fine when I was knitting. Huh. And then that one. Pretty. And this oh, one, I haven't done the border one. yet. This, uh, Kirby Werby. Very pretty. And then 
these these are so koi pond remember mm -hmm. i was showing you the sock that i'm doing mm -hmm. koi pond started where i started and it started with that pretty color mm -hmm. and then it went to that oh. and then it went to that so pretty and then that and then that yeah. and then it just goes white well you can see where my socks started because mm -hmm. it was after i did these that i started that sock so oh, you're starting to connect them I just, yeah. it just dawned on me i was thinking oh. that was your other blanket you know yeah. okay yeah. nice this is one that uh, janine died for well nice. i don't know if she died it for me but it's a janine one that she gave me nice this is a uh, yarn cafe mm -hmm. yarn cafe Volan vine mm -hmm. Dragon Horde. Nice. So yeah, so I think this is gonna, no, oh, I wanted okay. to get these two on there, okay. on this one, just so mm -hmm. that those could all be together. Yeah. But that's gonna make it really wide. So, that's I mean, wide is I don't wide. know, look at how, don't you think that's Are a Are you gonna do a border around the whole entire thing once you're done? Probably. Or? Okay. So yeah. then you can make it even wider if you want. Yeah. But if you don't, then yeah. That's Cause good. I'm kind of feeling like if I, I don't want it to be so long. Yeah. So I think I'll start my next. Yeah. And what method did you choose to join them? I just did the Bella Coco. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's super easy. Okay, good. So one thing I didn't know, and I, I'm i kind of practicing, but I'm probably wrong on some of them. Yeah. On these basic granny squares, mm -hmm. how to tell the right side from the wrong side. Mm -hmm. It's so funny because in knitting, it's plainly obvious. It's like, duh. Yeah. On this, it's a little bit hard to tell. But one of the tips that I read was when you look at the edge... If it, it might matter too, depending on if you have multicolors, because this is the same pattern, but yeah. I can totally tell if that's the right side and that's the wrong side. You, you can? Yeah. Like how? Let me see. It just looks different. It looks better. Right? Yeah. I mean, it just looks, so it looks it. different to me. Yeah. I mean, that looks great, okay. but it's, I think that's what I concluded was yeah. the sides that had more that look was the right side. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. So yeah, you just, you put them back to back with both your right sides facing mm -hmm. out. So okay. wrong side to wrong side. Oh, okay. And then you stick your hook through mm -hmm. and then, well, you tie the, I love this about crocheting. Mm -hmm. You just tie stuff on. I know. Just tie know, it on. I know. Like, cool. I know. It's very nice. Uh, then you bring your yarn through and chain two. Nope. Chain one. That mm -hmm. was for the border was the chain two. Okay. And then, you know, you're basically just doing, I think she said that in the U S it's called a double. Okay. But, yes. But you're going to watch the video. Right, right. So it's super easy. Yep. And then once you get this, you know, you're like, now that I know that this is how long I'm going to go, yeah. then I can set that aside. And my next ones, I can do however many I have there, put those all together mm -hmm. and then connect the long one to the long one. Mm -hmm. And then keep going. And then as how, what my goal is, is to get to the point where everything that I have mm -hmm. is connected. Nice. And then as I do them, I can just keep adding them to whatever strips yeah. not connected. Yeah, yeah. Because I really didn't mean to have so many of them pile up. Mm -hmm. But I was waiting for this yarn mm -hmm. to do the border right. and connect them. Yep. So this is just Miss Babs. It's called Peppercorn, mm. which, it I mean, it has very little anything to it. But it's not just cream and it's not just white. Right. It's a, it's, I mean, it's a little it's something. Fancy. Yeah. But... It's very pretty. I'm so, this is all I've wanted to do are these freaking little granny yeah. squares. Crochet is addicting. I can literally sit in front of the TV and just watch crochet videos and just play. And just like I did this, I did another one that I, this one I screwed up on. It doesn't look as good, but I just played and it was oh, like, it was just oh, fun. I love that. Well, I like it too, but I screwed up on, um, uh, I need to take that out. I had bound off, but then I decided oh. I don't want to keep, I was going to keep going. I need to get better at the jaw i don't like how that oh, jogs okay. like that you know but it's because you change colors and, yeah you know but anyway but i just like it because then if i don't like this or i decide i'm not gonna use it, i just rip it out yeah it's no big deal like it didn't right. take long yeah you know this you can whip these out really quickly so this one i did with some natural hobium yarn i think um this is the same pattern yeah but denser yarn you know more yeah. of it this is and do you happen decay. to know what size hook you used gosh i don't know okay um I didn't bring it with me. Probably, it if you're a crocheter and you're hearing us talk about crochet, you're probably just shaking your Yelling head. Yelling it out. Yeah, we I mean, know. it's definitely smaller because I feel like it's denser than that. So it's got to be a smaller hook you than would what we're using. But, um, yeah, yeah. And this has no border around it either. But 
So I was just playing around with it because it's nice with crochet because you can just rip it out really quick if you're like, oh, this is too dense or, yeah. oh, I'm going to try and go up a, a, a hook size and see if I like it better. Like you don't feel like you're out hours. Right. Yeah. I think for blankets, oh, crochet yeah. is the it's way It's the only go. way to go. Yes. I mean, I did that one, you know, and that, that was just addicting. It was just relaxing. So I didn't mind doing it, the habitation throw. Yeah. But most of the time, mo all my other blankets are all crochet. Yeah. Because I just, well, now I have one other one that's knit, but it was knit on huge, thick yarn. I did it way back when, when I first started knitting. Um, and that was easy because it was huge yarn and big needles. So yeah. it went quicker. But I feel like, yeah, if you want a blanket for crochet, it's like... That's the way to go for sure. It's so much pretty. Those are beautiful though. I, thank you. It's so pretty. They're so fun. And because yeah. I like the, the end look kind of has that um, quilty kind of yeah. look. You yeah. Know, oh, I, totally. I like yeah. that look, yeah. but yeah. I don't quilt. Yeah. And I like that you can, I'm just having so much fun using, I don't mind now. I will rip into a skein just to do granny That's square. good. I just That's don't even so care. That's so good. See, I need to It get, makes me feel that. better actually. Yes. Because I've got all that yarn. Mm -hmm that I just feel so bad that it just sits mm -hmm. there and sits there. And I've just decided, yeah, I can do a granny square. Yeah. I can do a bobble. Mm -hmm. I can make mini skeins yep. for, you know, whatever. Whatever, yeah. It just, do a heel and toe on a sock. Yeah, or a whatever. Or leg of a sock. I mean, yeah, yeah. No, it's so true. Yeah. It's why, why let it just sit yeah. and you can actually do something with and it. And it doesn't have to be, like if I had, you know, five skeins of something, then obviously that's right. going to go to something. So, a sweater. But those something. single skeins, what are you going to do with them anyway? I know. You Except know, for I mean, do a stripey something. Yes. Yeah. Or, you know, the shawls are fun, the different yeah. shawls, but I know I don't, at least right now, I'm not that into knitting those. No, and the thing is, you can always find another skein of yarn for a shawl. Exactly. I mean, that's the thing. You, you, yes. If it just takes yeah. two skeins, like yeah. that's not a big deal. Right. So, yeah, you might as well break into, yeah. I know, I need to start doing that more. I just, you know how I love winding skeins. I know, skeins. One thing I did to combat that is uh, in my yarn shire, I had my ball winder mm -hmm. just hooked on to a TV tray. Yeah. And then my Swift, you know. Yeah. Well, it was like I could sit on a stool and mm -hmm. do it, but it was like, eh, eh, eh. Mm -hmm. and if I stood, I was hunched mm -hmm. over and it just killed my back. Mm -hmm. So I popped up a... The, that one table that I got for when we podcast mm -hmm. before that you can make it taller. Yeah, yeah. And I have it on that. Now I can stand up straight. Nice. And wind, nice. you know, do the thing. So yeah. it's kind of a pain because it's just, I just have it set up in my room yeah. right now. And it's not aesthetically pleasing. Right. But at least it's functional. Yeah, exactly. So I do it on my kitchen counter, which is now higher. So yeah. it, it's fine ergonomically and all that stuff. It's just... And I could leave it on there permanently, but I don't want to. I'll yeah. My counter's clear, you know, in the kitchen. So I do put it away each time. But and that's a pain. I guess it's just getting it out. It's a pain. I know. Just, and I, it's, I'm notorious for, like, grabbing the wrong end. And so then it gets tang not tangled, but it's harder to get it to come yes. off. Yes. Well, I struggle with that sometimes, yeah. too. And it's like, sometimes it goes beautifully. Yes. Yeah, sometimes and sometimes it's, it's a nightmare. Yes. I know. <laughs> you just don't know what you're going to get. You so. know. Like, and what I've been trying to do lately, especially gearing up for Christmas mm -hmm, and Advent mm -hmm, calendar yeah. and stuff, is like every couple days, just choosing a skein, mm -hmm. caking it up, yeah. and then I'll either do a granny square or do a bobble, decide, okay, is this one that I think I'd really knit a whole pair of socks or right. whatever, or is it one that I'm just happy to have little bits of right. to use? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I can you know, break them down yeah. into the 10 or 20 gram mm -hmm. things, stick it in the Ziploc with the tag and you're good to go. I'm good to yeah. go. Yeah. 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 No, Pretty soon great. I'll be drowning in, in minis everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's yeah. everywhere but your ears. Exactly. Yeah. That's what but I do too. Since I'm so into these, you know, mm -hmm. everything's going to be granny squares. Everything has a purpose. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You can make coasters out of them. Totally. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Too. I don't know. It's, I just think they're so super they fun. Are. They're very right pretty now. too. And uh, crochet just looks pretty. It's funny how crochet looks so different from knitting. Like, yeah. It really does make a yarn look different. Totally if different. If you were to knit yes. that up, it would look totally different. Yeah. And in so, fact, we can compare yeah. the uh, sock because yeah. I have that here. And yeah, because self striping is totally different yeah. when you do it in a yeah it's just so interesting and i mean i couldn't say oh i like that better than that no because they're I both do, very I, different they're just different mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and they're um, both beautiful it's just it's interesting it is so it's just great that you can get two different looks out of because this things. is a self-striping yeah, you wouldn't so know pretty. it there i mean so you, don't, you don't get the self-striping no. all of these are most yeah. of these are self-striping yeah but so pretty yeah they're fun oh, i'm liking it that's awesome 
I love when you find a project like that that you just oh you can't you just wait to get do. home to be able to yeah. crochet. Or you can't you wait know to, it's so funny. It is. It's like I don't want to work on, and I love all the other stuff yeah. that I have. It's yeah. just yeah. this is what I want to do. What you're and my on. goal right now too is to make sure that I do at least, and this hasn't been a problem yet, but at least one a day mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. I don't forget yeah. how to do yeah, it. Yeah, you know? true, true. And because when I got the yarn, the solid, and mm -hmm. I was putting the border on all mm -hmm. the ones that I had, it was like. That's not hard, right? And it's right. it's easy and it's fine. Yeah. But I was like, no, you still got to do a couple because yeah, I've, I will fresh forget. Brain, yeah. Yeah. until it's been there yeah. a while. Exactly, it's still... exactly. Yeah, <laughs> so. and her videos are so good. I mean, I like. Her. Yeah, she's really really good. Yeah. So well, I'll have you left as community service. I just got a couple things. We okay, yeah, really same. Know. I don't have a ton of. I don't know why it seems so laid out right now, but I think it's because it's dark, dark and it's like pouring right yeah. out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm to community service too. I don't really have that much either. Yeah. So. Well, I just had to order another skein from Artistic Yarns by Abby, right? Abby, yeah. Yep. Yes. Oh, I love this skein. So this is her. Um... Okay. Where's it? Say? Festival of Lights. Oh right? yes, yes. Has it right across the top, you know. <laughs> well, I just know her yarn so well Festival from looking at her lights. website. This That's what's going to look like. You know, this one I like better in person. I love it. It's so I mean, pretty. yeah, because on, on... Oh, no, it's going to look like this. So that's her card. This yeah. is what it's going to look like. You guys can see. But, yeah. I know. I I had such a hard time because, I mean, I could buy 20 skeins from her easily. No problem. But uh, we do practice, you know, Hanukkah and stuff. So I was like, when I saw that one, I just liked... I just thought it, I like yeah. the colors. And this is so soft. It is. It's so soft. Because yeah, you just, amazing. you never really know, and there probably is a way to know, but it seems yeah. like all of her different ones mm -hmm. are different bases. Different bases, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. 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 this is super soft. Super soft. So I'll probably knit socks. Yeah. Because I love the pattern of it. I mean, yeah, I think it's yeah. really pretty. But I'm sure you'll do a granny square. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I will. So anyway. I wish it had occurred that. to me with these that I could have gone bigger with them. Oh yeah, yeah. You I mean, you just keep going. That. Yeah, you but can. that didn't occur to me because I was following yeah. specifically the the tutorial. That's what I did with my one. It's like cream and pink and white blanket. Is I just kept going and it got huge. And yeah, then, and I never. But used... I mean, even my squares. Yeah, your squares could be as big as you want. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think it would have been fun to keep going. Yeah, with yeah. these a little bit. The but next... I'm I'm not starting. Over. No, no. So. And that's what those are good sizes. They're it's not a good too size small. For They're learning. Not... Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, I think they're great sizes. What do you have for... Uh, oh, for community service. Community service, yeah. Okay. Oh, pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Very pretty, yes. Oh, maybe you don't love it because there's brown in there. No, but I love the pink. So I yeah. love pink, and I love the bird. And the, it, that's almost not a brown. I know. It's like, I know. Yeah, that's really pretty. This yes. is by that one guy that I... He's a Portland dyer. Oh, okay. I got one like this last time, mm -hmm. but in different colors. It's merino and cashmere. Nice. Blue Fibers, hmm. Blue Fiber Co. Nice. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's I just really love pretty. these yeah. colors. There's, so there's five minis, 87 yards each. Yeah, that's really, really and pretty. It's called B and Mason. Those are great colors. Yeah. Yeah. And then also by him is mm -hmm. where that other skein mm. that you saw. Mm, yes. I know, it's pretty. gorgeous. I had to wow. get one of these to just see and then... I don't know if I'll do something. It's called T Rose. The lighting's not very good right now. I mean, oh, we right. look fine, but it's like it's it's you can almost not see how pink. it's a pink, light pink. Yeah, it's really pink. pretty. It's Is it the same stuff. color as this? Yes, okay. that's exactly okay. right. Um, really pretty. Yeah, it's a great pink, and it's super soft. It looks soft. I mean, it looks soft and it feels soft. Yeah. That's amazing. That's pretty. So do you know what you're going to do with it or you no. just want to have it? Yeah. This I'll do probably a pair of socks. Oh yeah. Even though, I mean, with the cat, but be a beautiful that on shawl your, too. It, well, or a, it doesn't have the nylon. So I guess, do you have to have nylon in socks? I mean, it helps, I think with durability and stuff, okay. but just durability. I think, I think that's pretty And maybe the stretch for. kind of thing to bring them back to maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Cause I was going to, but yeah, maybe I won't. It might have to be something else. Because it's just a yeah. lot of yarn to just do socks. But then we do that with full skeins anyway, so who cares? <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. I mean... So, no. I don't know. I just like it. I just think a shawl would be gorgeous with all those colors in it. It's so pretty. So is this worth one skein? Yeah. Like, that's the yeah. amount? Okay. So a two-skein yeah. shawl. I mean, yeah, I could. They're just... They're, I don't know. They're very soft and pretty. <laughs> very pretty. 
Well, the other thing I got was go the koi pond that yes. I've already been using. And yeah, I, I don't think I... Yeah, so go ahead and show well, speaking you. Speaking of crochet, yeah. I was watching a podcast today and I cannot remember which one it was. I think it was one I just happened upon. I don't think it's one that I've watched more than this time. Oh, okay, cool. So I hate to, I can't recommend it because I don't remember the name of it. But anyway, she was talking about this book and I immediately had to go order it. So it's a hundred micro crochet motifs. And um, I don't know if I'll ever do anything out of it. It'll be fun to look at. It'll be fun to look. It's but what's amazing to, to me is because crochet patterns are so complicated when you're to not. Me, a, yeah. yeah. To me, they look really complicated. Yeah. And these are tiny. These are oh where you use little hooks. I mean, you could oh obviously, but you gosh, could go up a hook so size you could, you and could, you could I do mean, it. You could have a giant Yeah, you could do, a giant you can do whatever you want. Those are so cute. But they're so cute. So, so many different ideas in here. So yeah, you totally could. You could go up needle sizes. I love the bunting. I yeah. think that's so pretty. And Thanks those so. are the fun kind of things you can do as you're learning. Yeah, like on a mini scale. Yeah. Like if you have yeah. to rip it out, it's not a huge deal. You don't feel like, oh my and gosh, And instead of just like doing, that's you know, what is that? They just framed them. I mean, you oh, can do whatever okay. you want with them, but. Um, but anyway, I just thought fun. so many different fun. There's a lot of neat things oh, in there. Yeah. But I wouldn't know how to read that book. I know, that's the thing. But I but then I was thinking, you know, if I wanted to make something out of here, I can just look it up on YouTube. You know, how to yeah. do a certain stitch. How to do and that's what we do with knitting. We I do know. that all the time, you know. I know. And you gotta start somewhere. You do. But yeah. the one time I tried to read a crochet pattern, I was just like well, eventually you'll start to yeah. recognize certain things. That's like you'll true. go, oh, that's a, a double crochet or that's, you know, a single crochet. You'll start to recognize, you yeah. know, because yeah. there's only so much, right. you know? So, but anyway, I, so cute. I thought it was such a pretty... That's a fun book just to look at. Yeah, and people make earrings with these little motifs wow. and you know, different things you can... I mean, you can do all kinds of things with them. So I just thought it was a fun book and I, I hope I do use it because I'm just like I don't like buying books and not using them but well then just look at it every now and then and look at it but look at those needles oh yeah I mean no, those are teeny tiny yes they are so and the yarn that they use is very well string is more like oh, it I gosh. would say but they're beautiful I just think they're really pretty so that was fun um but I one of these days you know I have a lot of time on my hands I'll have to tackle it and see if I can figure something out so we'll, see. well I mean and you're right about the uh the YouTube, mm -hmm. like if it weren't yeah. for YouTube, I would oh. not have been able. To well, we wouldn't crochet. Be the, we yet. wouldn't be the knitters we are right. either. No, that's without, true. Yeah, I remember when we first started knitting, like YouTube was not a thing. We had to go right. into knit shops all yes. the time and ask for help. Yes. Can you help us with this, or a friend, you know? Right. Can you help us with this? But now with YouTube, I feel like I don't need anybody's no. help. Yeah, <laughs> can do it don't on myself. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk about this? Yeah, there's something else too, but I think that oh, okay. might, no, I mean, that might be it. I don't know. Okay. When it starts getting towards the end, mm -hmm. my mind starts going blank. Because mm -hmm. it's like you have this stuff yes. in your head. Yes. And then when you get down to the bottom of the stack, you're like, well, is that all that's in my head? Right. Or is there more there's that I should some be? That yes, you exactly. For. Yeah. I think true. this it's goes true. with that. Yes. Yes, the powder okay. knits. Okay. You want to talk or you want me to talk? You can talk. Okay. It's from Jessica from Powder Knits. She okay. sent us something which was very sweet. So this is a yarn cake holder. Mm -hmm. And we watched her video mm -hmm. a couple times to see how to do it. Which you can find on YouTube. On YouTube. Or on her Instagram, Powder Knits, on her stories. Oh, I don't know about YouTube. It oh, was it's Etsy, on Etsy that we were That's right. At. That's yeah. right. You're right. Her Thank shop's you. on Etsy and she's got a little video. Yeah. But basically, you get your cake of yarn, and I wanted to to yeah, do this straight. to one, but the one that I, it just occurred to us as we were talking about it, the one I was going to do it on. We it's think sweet. we think that once you do this, <coughs> oh boy, sorry guys, where's, where's that can when I need it? Oh, so stop it. You get your skein caked. And then you, from the bottom, you know, pull this up through it. Mm -hmm. But then we really did watch. Well, I think that it would just go over this. Oh, it would? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you, you pull this up through the center of your cake, and then it has this pretty bling mm -hmm. that, you know, you can get down to whatever level your, whatever height your cake is at. Mm -hmm. And then 
you can, you know, have it right there with you, mm -hmm. which I could see being convenient, not mm -hmm. only for like out and about, which I don't go out very often, mm -hmm. but even just in my chair, yeah. sometimes my skinny yarn falls on the floor. Yeah. So that would prevent that. That would sure. prevent that. Mm -hmm. um, we, we think from what, and if you're watching, you can tell us, mm -hmm. we think that if you do this, then you have to pull from the outside. Yeah, not the inside, we, I would think. Because I think it might get tangled. We think it might get tangled. But if we're wrong about that, let us know. Yeah. Um, and so the one I was going to do is a lace weight that I was going to have to put, I was going to have to do from both ends. So I'm, I can't use it for that. But yeah. So I'll have to find a different skein to play mm -hmm. with it on. Mm -hmm. But anyway, they're really cute. They've yeah. got cute little beads. Mm -hmm. and Made out of wood. But she said, um, great for traveling on planes, trains, and in cars. Also good for some couch knitting. I have videos I can send you if you have questions. Um, so anyway, that was really sweet of her to send them to us to yeah. try out. But yeah, I mean, I think they're really pretty. The beads she puts on, the wood is really nice. And so, it's not like catchy. I don't think it would catch on your I don't think so. It's very smooth, yeah. So it is nice for, I mean, just the other night I was knitting. And yeah, my skinny yarn fell, a ball of yarn fell on cake. A cake of yarn it is. fell on the floor and I had to go find it. You know, and it's like if you did have a project, you could just wear it on your wrist and walk yeah. around the house. Or if your kids are at the park and you want to knit, you can take it with you and... Have your skin in your Just your always mouth. have it in your hands. You never know when you can fit a few stitches in. Yeah, exactly. Right? If you're on the toilet, whatever, you know. Definitely. <laughs> Sometimes that's the only way you, you can get it done. People take their phone to the toilet. You might as well take your yeah, knitting project to the toilet. Although, Why not? I don't know. So phone is different than your yarn? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's definitely different. <laughs> Do you take your phone to the toilet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. That's when I play one of my favorite games. Nice. <laughs> so you look forward to going to the bathroom? Oh, yeah. yeah. I can play my game. <laughs> That's nice. So thank you, Jessica, for sending us yes. that. And remember, it's Powder Knits. So check her out on Etsy. And Etsy, also Instagram, Instagram is Powder Knits on there as well. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, that was really sweet. And we'll try it out. For yeah. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Just got to, well, we got to get her caking up some yarn. Yeah. Just get yeah. past that. Yeah. I was watching something, or I saw it somewhere, I cannot remember where, but it's, mm -hmm. I saw something about this stuff called Fray Block, mm -hmm. and wherever I saw it, they had done a, like, they reviewed a couple mm -hmm. different ones, and this was one of their favorites. The top ones. And what it is, you probably, you may know, but I didn't, it's a stuff that, like, for, for my purposes, I'm sure it has all sorts of other purposes, but for me, what I got it for is when you're magic knotting your mm -hmm. yarn together, it says you can put just a tiny little bit mm -hmm. and it makes it so it won't come kind of like glue. I guess mm -hmm. it's kind of like glue, but that it doesn't dry scratchy mm -hmm. or anything. Nice. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't even taken it out of the package, but, but the, we are endorsing it. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we endorse we stand nothing. behind it. We buy shit and we tell you about it. It's Whatever happens from there. I mean, there's been things that I've shown, like we won't show something that we know we don't like, right? but right. I've definitely shown things that I've got thinking, yeah. Oh, look, you guys it's look what I awesome. got and then decided, yeah. Oh, that, that yeah. sucked. So unless <laughs> we'll we're saying, you know, yes, but... exactly. We're very honest. I mean, we're honest about our opinions of things right. yes. and our opinion of this is it sounds like a great idea. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> and if any of you get it before we even use it, then tell us what you think. Yeah, well, you know what yeah. I noticed was Shauna stitches. Oh, she have it? Well, she does, but okay. the reason I know this is because she commented on our last video yeah. something about this stuff, Interesting. but I didn't see it till today. Okay. And I was like, oh, that's funny. You must have watched the same thing I did. Interesting, maybe. It's probably it one of those Instagram things. It sounds very liquidy. Oh, okay. like. Oh, it is liquidy. Yeah. Wow. That's not what I was expecting. Right? Interesting. Yeah, you I think it'd be kind of thick. Like yeah, like a cream. It says it dries quick, clear, soft, and flexible. It prevents fraying on fabric and ribbon. So I'm sure people that sew yeah, probably you, use you it a lot. Yeah, you sewers out there probably know, but... Carrie probably knows about it. Does she know? Well, I gave her something, remember? Oh, yeah, and no, she didn't. And she hadn't. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, not everybody knows not about everybody this stuff. Knows. So there's three of us right here wow. that didn't know All right. about it. So. All right. All right. Well, because I have, I've had issues with my magic nuts before. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they stay great and sometimes they don't. So I'm excited to try it because I want to do another mm -hmm. of the scrappy sweaters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. With a lot of magic knots. Yeah. A lot yeah. of magic knots. Yeah. So yeah. That's awesome. No, I'm very excited to have this because I will totally use that. Cause, you know, yeah, if you do works. magic knot, you, you kind of cross your fingers hoping, <laughs> hoping it works yeah. and doesn't come undone. So that will be an extra line of security. This is a Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing coming out. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Oh, 
else? I think that's basically Did you want to talk about that too? That you had it over here on the oh, table? Oh, well, but, I know. hadn't planned on it, but I will tell you one okay. of my, this is one of my favorite hand lotions. Nice. Um, Skin Fix. Do you have eczema? Not, you just not per se, okay. no, but I have my hands that I'm mm -hmm. always picking at, yeah. and this really helps heal them. Mm, nice. <laughs> so, I'm funny. really trying to stop being such a weirdo, but yeah, that okay. uh, anyway, it, I looked on Amazon, mm -hmm. and for me, the best price I found is on Sephora. Mm -hmm. Like on Amazon, it was yeah. crazy expensive. No, I've heard that about different products. I just ordered some uh, self-tanning drops. So they're not, it's not like a lotion, it's like drops. You drop it on your body? You. It's just drops. You put it like in your lotion or whatever and rub it oh. on. It's a self-tanner. Oh, but, okay. Um, I heard people say that too, that it was cheaper actually at Sephora than if you go on Amazon. You just, so you gotta know, gotta like anything, around. you gotta know what you're, what you're shopping for. Yeah, that's true. But no, I hadn't planned that. I should oh, you, show this. Oh, what? Go ahead. No, no go I on. just, something I just purchased that I bought like, how many have I bought now? I've bought two and I'm going to buy a third. Wow. I, what? Yeah. It's a weighted blanket. Do you have a weighted blanket? No, but I, I, cause I thought about getting one for Rebecca. Yes. You like that? It is amazing. I don't know if I'd like that. I love cause it. Cause I don't like things being on me. I know, but it's different. Okay. Yeah. Cause I wondered that too. And the yeah. first night I didn't think I liked it. I okay. was like, okay, I'm on the fence. I don't know if I like this. Cause my daughter had gotten one. Um, her boyfriend had bought it for her. And I was like, immediately, I was like, you know what? I've always wanted one of those. So I bought it on Amazon. Yeah. Got it home. First night, I was like, I don't know if I like this. Second, uh, from the second night on, I was like, this is the best thing in the whole world. Really? Yes. I love it. Like, I'm thinking of different purpose. Like, in the summertime, it's just that extra weight. It just comforts you and, like, just lulls you to sleep. And then in the wintertime, I figure I'm always cold at night. Like my feet are cold when I get into bed. And I figure that weight is just going to make all my blankets go so around. So you don't feel closer. too warm with... I don't, but I have fans on. I have air conditioning. I mean, yeah, I think if it was summertime and you have no air conditioning, and then it's going to feel like you're being stifled. But if your room is nice and cool, it just, it's supposed to help with stress, anxiety. Like yeah, it's supposed I've, to help soothe you. I mean, I've kind you. of read those things. Oh, but, okay, I'm glad to hear that you gave it. it a thumbs up. But it's weird because depending on your weight, what you weigh is what you're supposed to, do, is the weight that you're supposed to get. So really? I'm actually supposed to have a heavier weight. So I did order a 20 pound. I was using a 15 pound. Once I ordered 20 pound. Um, is this really to try to get you to exercise or something? I don't know. Do curls so. with it? Or? But it is heavy. Like in the middle of the night, I went to pull it up yeah, and it's I almost or 20 pounds. <laughs> couldn't pull it up on me. But I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes you feel like, uh, like somebody's putting pressure on you. You like to be smothered, huh? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, it's just, it was, I, it was a purchase I made that I was actually like, yeah. I no, really like I've them. seriously thought yeah. about them. Like I, I think said, Rebecca would for... love it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think she would. To get her one. It really is like, because Emmeline has one too, and she loves it. And we don't really suffer from a lot of anxiety, you know, but I just, I just, I don't know. It's so cozy. It just makes you feel comforted. Like I should get one for Oso. You should. Although it might suffocate a... him though if it's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't weigh enough. <laughs> 20, 20 pounds. Four times his body weight. <laughs> never come out i am sure that they have them for dogs i don't know oh i bet that would they be do. something to check I, are into you kidding? dogs get the life. anxiety yeah. then they anxiety. totally get dogs totally get do this. So, yeah. separation yeah anxiety. totally so it might but yeah i really but like you're it. right it probably wouldn't be nice to <laughs> stay a dog no. under a weighted blanket yeah and you'd have to be careful because they sleep yeah. in bed right so yeah. if you had it on your bed you'd have to be careful <laughs> yeah for sure so but anyway let me know if you guys like weighted blankets. Yeah, yeah, I'd be interested to hear your experience. Yes. So go ahead, tell me what, what else. Oh no, it was just this little thing that I got. I actually got one for Carrie too, but it got here. Oh, too late. The day yeah, after her birthday. birthday. Yeah. yeah. But it's this little. I don't know how often I use it, but it's this little card mm. that you keep your needles in. Nice. You know, there's it's like really little. Cute. It is really cute. Looks so. like something Lori would make. Totally or does. Carrie would make. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. They're made by i got it from amanda hope yarn mm. her website amandahopeyarn.com okay. what's it made out of like it's really like a thick kind of um... yeah i don't know does it say anything on that one? Oh, synthetic le leather so it's vinyl chloride that's what it's made out of because yeah it's thick i was thinking it was like uh like I, if lori made it she could totally make it out of fabric i'm sure yeah just put like uh interfacing yeah. leather in there oh that smells good so but yeah that's really cute I thought they were kind of cute. Yeah, it's very yeah. cute. Good, good job. Yeah, thanks. Good job. Yeah. It's not a weighted blanket, but... <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
I mean, everything's going to fall short after that. It's just like it was one of the best things in the world. What, what do I it's come up with? <laughs> hey, okay. different purposes, you yes. know. It's yes. not going to keep you warm at night, but it's going to help with your sewing or whatever you need to do. You need to keep you warm at night. Hey. I kind of looked through this. I did too. They have some really pretty yeah, sock yarn. I know, and good prices, very yeah. good prices. Like, affordable. I'm not going to buy any because I have so much mm -hmm. indie dyed sock yarn right now, but I thought, man, some of these yeah. are really cool. No, it's very cool. Yeah. So I liked, uh, I liked that one a lot. For that summer. reminds me of the koi yeah, pond that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I love this one here. Yes. Yes, that's really That cool. one. Mm -hmm. I would be tempted yeah. to buy that. Yeah. No, they have. That's the thing, nitpicks. If you need, that's where I got that hot pink and the uh, the lighter off white color was from there. Because yeah. nitpicks has really affordable, decent yarn. I mean, it's not bad. It's good, yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, their prices are very reasonable. So if I ever have to knit a sweater or something like that, I usually do try to look at nitpicks too. Um, but it was funny when I saw the cover was all yellow because we had talked about that the other day when we were at knitting together about how bastard yeah. yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I, all I had stuck in my head was bastard yellow. Yeah. I couldn't remember in what context that came yeah. from or yeah. what the deal was. But it's from Thursday, how we were talking about yellows. Yeah. yeah. And how some people love it, some people don't like yellow at all. So. Yeah. Or different shades of yellow. I'm open to yellow. I am. I'm open to yellow. Certain shades more than others. Absolutely. But, you know, I think that's what we're talking about. There's just some colors for some people that they just absolutely mm -hmm. don't like. And I was trying to think, I think most colors... I like for at least something. Yeah, you know, yeah. It has just, to just be the right project and the yeah. right combo. Or colors. the right thing. You yeah. know, like yellow flowers are pretty. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Brown trees are nice. Right, exactly. You know, I exactly. mean. Exactly, exactly. Everything has a purpose. Yeah, coffee beans yeah, are brown nice. and they look and nice. We love coffee yeah. beans. Yeah, so yes. it just depends on what you're talking about. It's true, it's true. So. But then if you talk about poop, that's brown. We don't like that as much. Um, no, but you gotta have it. <laughs> you know, you gotta get rid of that it's stuff. Necessary. Yes. If you don't, you're not feeling very that's good. That's true. That's so. true. So I guess. And if yep. it's another color, you might be concerned. <laughs> so true. really, I mean, it's a great color. Brown's the color for poop. <laughs> Healthy poop. That's right. That's right. Okay, that's probably enough for today. <laughs> I think so. It's like we have to get certain that things in. Appropriate enough. Got to talk about day. some poop every few episodes. Yes. I mean. <laughs> It's just the way we are. It is. I was going to say unfortunately, but it's okay. No, it's okay. kind of unfortunate. But no, I wish we could change whatever. ourselves, but nah. it's a little too late for that. We're trying to make changes about the things that are important. That's true. And that's just not important to us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. Being yeah. inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Um, well, have a great life. Um, <laughs> It's like you're saying bye forever. You never know. A great life. You That's never true. know. You never you know. You just don't know you what never know. may or may not That's happen. True. So if this is the yeah. last time we ever talk to you in our life, it was nice knowing you. Gosh. We have no plans so of you know, dying or not podcasting anymore, <laughs> but you know, we're just covering our bases. Yeah. They always say, you know, tell everyone you love them. Because That's you know, true. So That's true. We love you guys. We, just, we so appreciate you tuning in every couple <laughs> weeks whenever we decide to do what, this. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. We talked about doing the live episode. Yes. Which I think I'm personally leaning more towards not. Okay. But, but I'm not okay. close to it. Okay. But someone, well, a few people suggested, and I thought this might be kind of fun mm -hmm. if from time to time we did a Zoom oh, thing. Oh. And, no, I hate Zoom. I do yeah. too, to be honest. But I thought it was a better idea just because okay. then it could be like we could actually Multiple interact people. with yes. a few people. Yes. But I do hate Zoom for the lag time. Well, and then you have to worry about who's talking yes. and like make sure you're quiet. Like right. you really can't be yourself. You can't because you feel like you're interrupting people. Yes. All right. That's out too. Sorry. I mean, it sounds good. It did. But it's like how many people would you allow on the Zoom call then? Right. Could it be a lot? And then well, it's then like it nobody really would hard get to talk, talk. Yes. you know? And I would hate for people to not feel like they could talk. Yes. Well, even when we used to do the Zoom with, mm -hmm. you know, our friends that yep. we used to get together with, yeah. uh, I, I did. I would always just kind of sit there because I, I don't. Yes. I interrupt you sometimes yeah. because we're sitting here right. together and it's right. okay. But typically I don't like to interrupt well, people. Well, you and a group of people, tends to, you tend to get quieter. Do I? Sit back. You kind of sit back and just kind of observe. If it's a yeah. bigger group. Yeah. I mean, if it's not too big, you're fine. But I just feel like on a Zoom call, if we even had just 10 or 20 people, it would it would be like yeah, we all wouldn't be able to be. No, that's true. Because I would want to interact with people and get to know people, but then it's like 
it, I don't know, but then I wouldn't want to leave out anybody. No, and you're right. You've got to remember their names. And I mean, it's I know just you it just sounds done. complicated. I don't yeah. know. But, but it sounds good. I mean, then we could actually yes. really interact with people, yeah. which would be nice. It would be fun. You know? So I don't but know. But even with it, just because when we tried podcasting that way, it was, mm -hmm. it was kind of hard because yeah. you'd freeze yeah. or. The other person, but you know, I mean, we're not looking for perfection. Obviously, <laughs> obviously not. Um, and then the other option, yeah, is the Instagram stories or the face or the YouTube live or whatever. And that has some interaction as far as just people being able to say things, but nobody gets seen or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. Well, we're still working on it, but yeah, we'll see. Maybe yeah. we should just have an knitting retreat and invite everybody. I totally to would love to do that. I just don't know where or when. I know. So how? <laughs> yeah, just simple little things exactly. like that. <laughs> I, I know. I would love to be one of those people that yeah. could like organize all I these know. awesome things like people do. It'd be so fun. But I just I would I would come up with the idea mm -hmm. and I'd be like, Yeah, let's do this mm -hmm. and then when it came time to actually making it happen, I'd be like, Oh, that's way too much. It's fun. it's be overwhelming. Yeah. I get overwhelmed easily on those kinds of things because it's like And then I wouldn't want to go because there'd be too many people. <laughs> right. I know. <laughs> It's true. Yeah, it's this true. Is probably as good as it's going to get I with know. us. <laughs> yeah. So we'll okay. see. Who knows? Okay. Yeah. Well, have a great day. A great tomorrow. Day after is up to you. Yeah. Do what you yeah. Want, yeah. But... That's, yeah. <laughs> Who knows how that day is going to go. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Bye. Bye.